and we're already being listened to on the local version that eventually that gets was, on the uh, Lego, by the way. Leg Lego that's, you know, that's actually a great topic to start while I let everyone fall in, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Um I have many mixed feelings. Oh. It's uh and to be fair, right, I was I think like an hour or two in and I asked the <laughs> chat, like, what's everyone thinking about this game? And that's exactly what I got. I literally got like it's great, it's bad, it's a mess, it's definitely wonky compared to the other ones, it's fine, I've heard it's pretty bad, I've heard it's pretty great, I've seen lots, and I was just like, ooh. Wow. And someone might be like, well, what's that? that's not that bad, there's plenty of good things in there. It's like, when you have something like Elden Ring, where it comes out, and there are lots of problems as far as I'm concerned, but you get a across-the-board 11 out of 10, like, oh, I'm probably in for a game I'm going to very much enjoy. Um, mm. it'll just be the kind of thing that... Funnily enough, there's more and more videos coming out now that I've been linked that are, like, bigger creators basically saying, like, okay, Elden Ring wasn't as good as everyone said it, and it's like, <laughs> oh, we're at that phase. <laughs> We've already gotten there. Yeah. Um, of course. So, yeah, I, I obviously was just, like, seeing that, I was like, oh, man, day fucking, like, one of this release of a LEGO game, which is very hard to upset anybody. Like, and it's getting that kind of response. It's like, what? Why? And um, the graphics, fucking top notch, no complaints. Uh, animations, they're pretty damn cool as well. Uh, the combat mechanics, general mechanics, have been improved, um, and added to since I remember the uh, the older games. And then it's like, then there's like the way that they have structured it. In the originals, as you'll remember, you split three episodes into six levels. Yeah. And then each of those levels will have um, lots of environments and then puzzles to unlock the uh, the ways forward. And then lots of little little bits and bobs like, oh, look at that. Could you maybe blow that up, put that there, jump behind that, and you got yourself a secret. And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, neat. Very linear, too. Um and uh, I, I try, I'm trying to explain this in a way that doesn't just come across as me being salty that it's not the way I remember it. But um, that, to me, was pretty strong. It was a pretty, pretty, un just like, to me, I was kind of expecting this game to be that again, but mm -hmm. maybe even bigger and better, and then all nine episodes. Instead, right, I do the the opening, I started with Phantom Menace, and you do the, the tax shit in the Trade Federation, and like... There was like a hundred thousand studs for me to find from breaking shit and walking around. But basically zero collectibles or puzzles. And I was like, that's a bit odd. Uh. Um, then I complete it and I go down to Naboo. And then someone in chat said something that I kind of like brushed over at the time. But um, I'm looking back now and I'm like, hmm. I said like, I wonder if there's anything more I can do in that level in free play, because I didn't really spot any like, you know, oh, you can't go through this because you don't have this, you can't do that, that. And someone in chat said, that wasn't a level. And I, I, I like, I read that and I was like, I that's nonsense. And then looking back, I'm like, oh, I think I know what they mean now, because, um, the, you then spawn on Naboo, and you can walk into this little thing that teleports you to the Gungan city, then you can talk to Boss Nass, and get yourself the, the ship, and then you press A to just start the level where the monster's chasing you, and you have to avoid it. Then you teleport up to Feed, and then you can go find the uh, Padme. And then you have to go to the little hangar in Feed, and then you teleport to Tatooine. <clears throat> then you go to Watto's shop, and in one cutscene conversation, you're about to start the pod race. And you do the pod race like level, it's pretty quick. Teleport to Coruscant, you have a scene in... Um, you, you walk around Carson a little bit, and then you have a scene in the in the Senate. Teleport back to Naboo, speak to Boss Nass again. And then you're doing, um, you've teleported to Theed again. And now you're doing the Darth Maul fight. Uh, you do that, and then you do, um, I think you have Jar Jar, and you have to just fight the droids as they come into the fight at the end of Phantom Menace. And then you teleport to, um, doing Anakin's space fight, which is kind of a level. And that was it. And, and I was just like, whoa. And a lot of people have been saying it, but the story mode is like, it's speed running. 
Like, you just blast uh, right through it. And it's like, so where's the content? Uh, it's like, well, all the places you just went through, me going back and forth between Naboo and, uh, well, sorry, the Gungan City and Feed and Tatooine, they're all big open th hub worlds with all kinds of, like, you'll, you'll have loads of building, like, say loads of houses in Tatooine, but, you know, all of them have locks on them that require C-3PO or Darth Vader or blah, blah, blah. And then in the Gungan City, it's like, oh, you, you can't get into this room because you're going to need R2-D2. And you're just like, okay... Um, so it's like a different way of approaching what they already had been doing, but it makes the story mode feel super empty and kind of just like, get that out of the way and then you can play the game. Huh, that Which, seems like a bad idea. It's definitely not coming across quite right to me, because, um, the other thing about it is like, I appreciate LEGO's approach to retelling the Star Wars, or well, any story really, they usually have a tongue-in-cheek sort of approach and they can make some jokes and jabs and stuff. Um... About half the humor was, like, references to stuff you're aware of. And there was about okay. maybe three or four jokes that I was like, oh, that was pretty funny, but then a lot that are just very easy and normal. Um, th th some of it was just, like, lol so random. But um, I, I remember thinking to myself, like, oh, man. The, you know, being like, oh, now this is pod racing. Laugh my ass off XD. But, yeah, that doesn't really work very well when you have a lot of them that are in close proximity. And then I realized, like, mm -hmm. is that all we're really doing? Like, we're kind of just referencing? Because, like, it felt like, I don't know, um, a meal in the, uh, in the other ones. But this one, like, uh, you get very much discouraged from looking around because the places are enormous. There are loads of things that are locked off because you don't have the right characters. And the, the difference between free play and story seems so very fucking blatant to me. And there's another thing that I think made the other ones work was having a, um, uh, what do you call it? True Jedi for both story mode and free play. Because that means that you have to explore at least a little bit in story mode, otherwise you're not going to get all the studs you need to uh, get that to add, add to your unlocks. In this, right. you can get the same True Jedi on either free play or story, or rather you can replay the story missions to do that. And they, they come with all sorts of things, like, um... It's so bizarre how this is sectioned off. The first story mission for Phantom Menace is the fight with the fish in the ship after you talk to Boss Nass. And it's like, well, wait, okay. how is that the first mission with all the stuff you described? I'm like, yeah, I know, it's weird. That's how it's done. <laughs> um, and, you know, that's a vehicle mission, too. So I'm not sure yet. I've told, I've told the streams, like, I'm really not sure how I feel yet. We're going to have to play a bit more of this and see how it all shakes out, but... um. I'm really not looking forward to the idea that I just, like, in one stream can get through the entire nine-film story and then be like, right, now it's time to play the game. That that feels weird. That just seems like an odd... Feels like a weird instance of, uh, I guess, unclear communication to the player of the nature of this game. Because maybe, maybe it is. I've been told it matches the way they've been doing stuff in their newer games, but, like, that's... I don't know, uh, man. <laughs> And yeah, I don't know, it just seems odd. It makes me wonder if, like, maybe the appeal I actually enjoyed was more so the time taken to go through the films a bit slower. Because I remember there were sequences in, like, the first level of Empire being in Hoth, where you had to, like, solve rather large puzzles. And the way that I feel like it was justified, right, you have this big puzzle you have to figure out to get a door open or to fix the Millennium Falcon, but there would just be this other door when you did it, and it's like, oh, you can only access this with R2-D2, and you're like, ah, oh, I'll catch you on the next playthrough, that sort of thing. But with this, mm -hmm. it's like, you need to go from, you know, this part of Theed to the other side to get to the hangar, and you just walk through this whole world filled with stuff, and it's just like, why would, why am I, there's no much point in me looking at any of this right now, because... Uh, I've got a waypoint, and I don't get anything for it by doing it on quote-unquote story mode. And by doing and story mode... more advantageous to do it later. Yeah, and then by doing like story mode, I unlock a sense. whole bunch of characters for free play, so... Yeah, um... Yeah. Okay. I don't Odd. know, yeah. Hmm. It's felt like Odd. a very disjointed experience so far, uh... A strange game. I'm hoping, obviously, to play it more and then seem seem like seem, seem maybe figure it out. Uh, as Thunder just said, yeah, story mode seems like it might be an afterthought. Um, Which is odd. 
I, I think it's part of, like, a huge part of the charm is to watch the re-telling, re-imagining of, of the storyline, but with Lego. Like, it's yeah. fun. And if someone said, like, yeah, but they've done it already, I'd be like, well, then, do, why are they making the game? Like, just do it again. Have different ideas this time. Oh, and another mm -hmm. thing. They've dragged the Clone Wars voice actors into this game. And, man, do you remember the Clone Wars episodes, the, the, the guy who would, like, I think there was a guy who was, like, like previously on? He would talk uh, yeah, like yeah. this. He had this kind yeah. of general voice. No, um, I remember him. They've got him, that voice, one-to-one, -one, voicing Qui-Gon Jinn. And it doesn't Why? fucking match at all. He's like, Obi-Wan, you must understand. We need to do... And it's like, what? Why? You should have just got anyone to do a Liam Neeson impression. It would have been more suitable. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Like, because the Obi-Wan and Jar Jar, I think I said on stream, is like, they're fine. You can tell it's not them, but they're fine. But his, I was just like, I, I was saying to people, every once in a while where I'm running somewhere and they got some in-game dialogue playing, I listen to, like, Obi-Wan, or impressionist of Obi-Wan, being like, um, you know, oh, where are we going next? And then I just be like, yeah, that's fine. And then I hear, like, we are going over there. And I'm like, wait, who the fuck is that? <laughs> it's like, who's on my oh team? My god. <laughs> like, my god. It's like, oh yeah, just good old Qui-Gon Jinn. It's like, oh. And... I don't know if they told him to try and do anything. I think they just said, like, just do your normal voice. So they have voice acting in the in this game, instead yes, of just having it be... you can turn it into mumble mode, and that's unlocked straight okay. away. Okay. Right. Uh, which I do want to try out, just to see how it, uh, the difference it makes, but, um... I don't... Uh, funnily enough, they take a lot of the dialogue from the film. I'd say, like, 90% of it is one-to-one. -one. I'm just like, couldn't you just isolate those and take them? Uh, you you think maybe, but I don't know. Hmm. That doesn't sound great. Oh, this, this I was going to tell you about this. This is pretty funny. Um, I think there are set pieces of dialogue for the storyline, of course, in cutscenes, and then there are set pieces of dialogue for where you are at in the story, but in the game... You know, just, if you first go to the Gungan City, they'll have a line to do with that that they'll never play again now. But, there are generic lines that they'll play, you know, just whenever you do certain events about different oh, things. Oh no, don't, and, um, don't tell me. Oh, well, this is just funny. I don't think it's that bad. It's just funny. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm running around as Qui-Gon Jinn right before I go to the Gungan City. So narratively, like, right at the beginning. And there's this, like, creature in the swamp... And he's got like a thing on his head that looks like it looks like a signal to maybe use the force on him or something. And I was just pressing all the buttons trying to figure out if it was something I was supposed to do. And I hit him with a lightsaber. And um I think that was like to proc a line of dialogue of like, you know, don't be mean to the animal. And so Qui-Gon says, um, maybe Anakin was right about the Jedi. What? And I was like, What? <laughs> like Qui-Gon Why would the how what? What? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I don't even know. It's like my head immediately goes to Force Ghost Qui Gon after Revenge of the I Sith. Guess. Maybe it would have to be right. But even then, like, why would he say that? And then, of course, why the fuck would he say it then? He hasn't even met Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> That's it was, a bit silly. It's such a funny, like, I'm just playing around in my silly little children's video game, and then he says that, and I'm looking at him for ages, like, why did you say that? Like, what What are they telling me by having you say that here? What? Um, I'm Odd. trying to think of what in the fucking world possessed them to have that line in there, and then what it would be referencing. That is a bit strange. <laughs> From Qui-Gon's point of view, the Jedi are evil. Would you recommend that game then, or...? Um, let me play another maybe two streams and then I can tell you. But that's right. bad news, the fact that I'm not saying yes yeah straight away. Right. Whereas conversely, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, that game's pretty fun. I, I imagine I think so. it's neat. Uh, people are asking where Rags is. He is going to drop in as soon as he can. He is currently uh, tied up in Schleams and Fleems. Um, we are going to try and press on, because we are very far behind, and I will... Snatch any arm that are directly meant for him, for him to see when he comes in. Um, so, all right, we're going to check out uh, Streamlabs first, and then we're going to do the Denim's EFAP ones, and then we'll do today's ones, and that's probably going to be the stream, I imagine. So, all right. first one says, uh, Rags asked if uh, Tarkin 
Oh, so he said Tarkin feels like a real name. And, um... Uh, this guy said it's obviously based on Tarquin, Tarquin, I think, the proud, the rapist tyrant of King of Rome, who was overthrown, leading to the founding of the Republic. Damn. Huh. Is he known as the rapist tyrant king? Because that is I'd, not a good reputation. Uh, no. Um. Dude. It just says Elden Ring. Yeah. Elden Ring. Uh, the Chiasmodonte, also swallow a fish, can eat prey larger than itself. Sometimes this process will rip up its stomach and kill it. So it's just not a particularly great evolutionary... No. Um, that makes me wonder. When you say larger than itself, do you mean it's like skin can expand so that when it swallows it, it thus would get bigger? I presume. Because, Jesus Christ, uh, we're looking at some TARDIS shit otherwise. <laughs> um, but yeah, th that would be the... <laughs> I was supposed to say worst way to go. It's like, no, there are probably worse ways to go, but dying because you ate something bigger than you. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that wait, seems, like a, pretty, that seems the, like a pretty bad one. The this world's certain... greatest mukbang. This is a game where we could have had horse armor for Torrent so the fucker doesn't stumble over himself when an enemy strikes him and it's not in the game for some godforsaken reason. That's kind of funny, actually, yeah. Elden Ring could justify horse armor pretty easily. Yeah, I guess so, right? I would... If someone said, like, you know, horse armor was in the game when I was playing it, I wouldn't have laughed. I'd be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense, because fucking, it is frustrating as hell getting knocked off uh, your horse in that game. Mm -hmm. I mean, also, horse armor's barely a meme anymore. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's an old boy, isn't it? That's just, yeah, it's like, what, 16, 17 years old at this point? Fucking hell, now I feel old. Whatever yeah. FromSoft does in the future, I just hope their character creator is better. They should look at Neo 2, what Neo 2 did with their character creator, and go from there. Um, I'm all for good character creators, I just never tend to spend time on it myself, so I'm always, like, it's yeah, it's yeah. like I advocate for it. From the sense of just, yeah, they're cool. And it's like, do you use it? And I'm like, no, but other people do. <laughs> so, woohoo. Okay, yeah. uh, whatever FromSoft does. Oh, wait, yeah. Hi, Mola, Fringy, Rags, and whoever else may be present at the reading of this chat. Hey. What do you guys think about the concept of coincidence as a plot device? Can it be done well depending on execution or should you avoid it totally? Thanks. So, when you say hey, that, do you mean an in universe? cause of what is perceived as coincidence because obviously it wouldn't be coincidence at that point like if some godlike figure were uh orchestrating events and and random you know like final destination in a sense it's like how coincidental yeah. that this water yeah, were here so like... i slipped on it it's like well there's an entity doing it yeah like at that point it becomes a mechanic yeah i, I, would, mean, I just wouldn't call it a coincidence at that point mm -hmm. however well, like cause and effect in, in terms of a coincidence kicking off a story, that tends to happen. Um, like, yeah. we are following this character because something special happened to them in this moment, you know? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if that answers the question or not, but I guess I hope it does, because you said concept of coincidence as a plot device. So unless, because if I was to take that literally, it would just mean what a coincidence often is. Like, they only ever usually exist in order to push the plot in certain directions. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm definitely not a fan of those, though, you know, I'd say, I don't want to make the claim that all stories have it, but it is incredibly common. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to feel ancient? When GTA Vice City came out, its nostalgic 80s setting was only 16 years in the past. The yeah. game itself is now yeah. 20 years old. Dude, I saw a yeah. comment on Reddit that was like, someone... Someone was talking about a piece of tech that came out 20 years ago, and then they said, like, holy fuck, they had this in the 8... No. Oh, 2000, yeah. Because <laughs> like, 20 years yeah. ago, I, I just, I think I'm from the same generation, I guess, as that guy. It's like, 20 years ago always felt like it was the 80s. That would have been the 80s 20 years ago. But now, 20 years ago was the early 2000s, which is... That's a bit... That's, yeah, yeah that's takes some getting used to. Mm-hmm. It won't be long before there'll be a lot more media that's nostalgic for the 2000s in the same way that we got more for the 90s, you know, in, in recent years. Jesus, we go from talking about Elden Ring to this? I'm not even sure what it's referencing, but yes. Uh, 
Live service games are just an excuse for game devs to not fully complete a game at launch, and then work on additional content for the game, like Devil May Cry 4 or Elden Ring. It's not, it's, it's not an excuse, it's just, it's a better way of making money if you can succeed. That It's not an excuse, it's just that that's something that you can more easily get away with. I was going to say, like, I wouldn't want to shit on the idea entirely, because they're going to be... I don't know, because you can do live like service early access, well. isn't it? Uh, I mean, early access is a thing that I think at this point has yielded a lot of good results, even if there are bad examples. Yeah, you can take advantage of it, but there are plenty of people who didn't, or rather used it the way it was intended to be used. Yeah. Uh, when Mola started making those slurping noises, I nearly fell over bringing my grandfather to the dining room. XW. I'm assuming that was uh, when I was making fun of Denims, I'm not sure. I, I can imagine that that might be the reason. Uh, my apologies ahead of time, but I'm 30 minutes behind. On the point about toilets, you find a toilet in a room on its own when it's an elementary school, so a five-year-old kid isn't alone with a sink, so they can flood and toxic to swallow hand soap. Is that true? I have no idea. I'm trying to think. Elementary school bathrooms, from, in my memory, we had sinks. How can you trust a kid with a toilet but not a sink? Like, wouldn't you, couldn't they do... Uh, yeah. Hmm. hmm. But also, couldn't you just have, like, not a bar of soap? You could just have soap in a container, like a bottle. Well, if the worry is that they'll eat it, I guess you can't have any form of soap, right? But then... Uh, okay. But, but this is the thing, if, you, if you're worried about them eating it in elementary school, I'd be like, oh, um... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I was walking and a couple stopped me to ask if I knew what a tauntaun was. I did, of course. The man cheered and the woman glared at me. Apparently she lost a bet. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. <laughs> That's actually really fun. If you pick a random person and you're like, do you think they know what a tauntaun is? You'd be like, ooh. <laughs> hmm. Because that's... Oh, it sits in that area of, like, if they know what Star Wars is, it's still not guaranteed. But it, it... No, because they know who Darth Vader everybody knows who Darth Vader is, and they probably know what a Wookiee is. Yeah. Do they know what a Tauntaun is, though? You know, it's it sits between, it sits between, like, an awareness of, I don't know, like, Night Sisters or something, and something that's actually commonly recognized in Star Wars. That's, that's fun. I cannot believe Fringy missed the chance to convince foreigners that in Australia we wash our hands in the toilet bowl. I think somebody made that joke, didn't they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure someone did. Your drop beer card is hereby revoked. Oh my goodness. That's not yours to revoke. Yeah, he's just gonna keep it. You ain't gonna have that revoked. <laughs> yep, I'm hugging it tight. Here I am watching EFAB when Fringy mentions that chat has mentioned that Simpsons episode where the town builds a house for Flanders and he loses it. Then I see that exact clip in my YouTube recommendations. How did that happen? Explain that, Mola. Your microphone heard from you listening. Yeah. The only way. There are creepy things that happen in relation to that. Yeah, definitely. Um, Sometimes it's, the thing I find about it, though, if I come across that, I'm like, oh, I probably agreed to something somewhere that has allowed this to yeah. happen. And in some ways, it's like you go Ken Brockman and it's like, I, for one, welcome our robotic order. Like, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, yeah. especially with all the fucking apps that are like, oh, you'd like to, you know, engage your I've had on my, my when I got my new phone, it was like um, transfer my gallery. So just photos from my previous phone to the new phone. Um, and it was like, gallery will require access to, and then it just lists fucking everything, and it's like, why? <laughs> what the fuck do you need the list for? Um, yeah, programs can get weird with that. I ketchup fappers. Hello. Uh, I will be at Annie Mae Mattressy in Hussytown, Texas. Texas. Come and see. Um, I'll be hanging out swag for the video game. Uh, it'll be a good time. First round of drinks on me if you can find me. Okay. I have no idea what any of that means, but have fun. Um, 
Oh yeah, video game update. It's been a year now, managing a team of 15 has not been easy as the university philosophers try and make you think it is. Programming is the biggest battle for obvious reasons, but art and story are doing great. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the updates on a potential EFAB game, was it? Or, or uh, was it a completely Sorry. individual project? I'm, I feel bad that I haven't fully remembered exactly what the context was. Um, you know what? It doesn't matter. Good luck, regardless. Mm -hmm. That's a... Uh, uh, quite an adventure to go on. I um I briefly tried to get into coding and I found it nightmarish. I don't know but have you ever done it? I have and yeah it's hard. <laughs> I um I just could not stay focused on the work. Uh didn't find it rewarding enough. But uh respect to those who can can get through and make some incredible programs and stuff. Yeah. And of course, yeah, game development, you gotta do a lot of that. Or at least somebody on your team's gotta do a lot of that. That's gotta be someone's job. So that's it for Streamlabs, at least. For now. And... It is time for the EFAP stream. Um, yeah, and it begins with, and now we descend even further. <laughs> like, uh, there was... We're not... We're not with our journey yet, all right? Well, there was no one. question she was worse than irrelevant, but um, I think there may be a competition to be had between her and Hassan, though the argument is probably going to be Hassan says one thing twice that's worse than anything De Denim says. Yeah. There, yeah, there is that. So uh, it would be interesting to see what everyone thinks, but I mean, we've also got a combo up of a lot of things Hassan says and does that are just amazing. The one that... I think, well, because Jay tweeted these ones out, so a lot of people would have seen them already, but, you know, hey, if you're here right now, then you get a little sneak peek, but Hassan says almost back-to-back -back at certain points, this video that Jay made is bad, terrible, and incredibly bad faith. I haven't seen it, but I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. Well, I think that reminds me of when, uh, wasn't the first thing that he ever heard of this show was... EFAP covered you, and then he said, fuck EFAP, I'm not watching their dog shit content. It's like, <laughs> yeah. this is this is just like your brain not working. You oh, know, it's, like this it's funny you bring that up. Um, one of the last clips, and I'll just remind, when we go through it, I'll just be like, oh yeah, me and Frankie were talking about this. So, one of the last clips, he's about to watch a Nerd City video. You may have heard of him. I think a lot of people in chat would have. And uh, he starts up the intro, and then someone in his chat adds him and says, Nerd City doesn't like you. And then Hassan stops, looks at it, and goes, Nid City doesn't like me? And then he, like, goes to Nid City's page, goes on Twitter, cycles down, sees nothing at all, and then just goes, I'm not watching this video, then. <laughs> it's like, yeah, based on what? <laughs> like, what? Based what based on you... just some, some person in chat who's... Because that's, that's where he got his stupid line from, was because someone in chat said it, yeah. and then he never looked into it, and he just latched onto it. I can't believe how how irresponsible I I can't believe that in that room where they talk about responsible like messaging and responsible community management and stuff like that, that you could do something so stupid. Whatever. Um, and it's funny as well because it's like, oh yeah, imagine EFAP didn't cover the people who didn't like them. It's like, dude, we got no coverage. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to play J videos. Um, someone said he, he saw Nerd City was tweeting about Sam Hyde who challenged Hassan to a boxing match, he was ducking. So, um, the one thing uh, that eventually happens is that he looks at Nerd City's liked tweets, and he sees, I can't remember who exactly, I think it was Rusty Cage. Um, he sees he liked a Rusty Cage tweet, and he was like, oh. But what I'm talking about happens before that. He sees nothing, and just says, oh, okay, I'm not going to cover him then. Like, because... <sighs> It's not about... <laughs> I should save this point for Saturday, but it's not about uh, whether or not the person's motivation is clout. It's about whether or not Hassan would like them to have clout. If they're a person who doesn't like Hassan, then no. If they're a person who does like Hassan, then sure. Have all the ones who want. I think you mentioned on the... Didn't you say that when, uh, when Vorsh's community was criticizing him, that he sent a message to Vosh essentially telling him, get your fans off my back or something? Yeah, for, uh, so from what I understand, because I only saw clips of this, he like doesn't talk to Vosh at all, even though they're kind of... Him to 
in the same genre and at the similar they level. Are, they are. I'm not yeah. gonna let these. I'm sick of people pretending like no, he's not a political commentator. It's like man, he has an interesting way of not talking about politics. <laughs> so yeah, really weird. But um, the yeah. I guess you 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 can then go as far as uh saying. Okay, I guess he just doesn't want to talk to him. But then the second, like, he wants something from him, he's like, hey, you, sort this out. And no, um, I, can, I can imagine how easily you can develop that attitude when, as far as I can tell, just based on the way that a lot of people talk and watching debates and stuff, a lot of people seem to just, like, always stick up for him. They pretty consistently stick up for him where they don't for someone like Destiny, who they all, like, toss aside. And it always feels like, is this just a matter of, like, you all don't want to burn that bridge because he's, like, the biggest streamer on in your realm? Is that it? Or are you, like, afraid of the, his giant fan base that, like, if you go against him that you'll lose a lot of your audience? I don't know. You just I got that impression again from that Denim's video where it's just, like, a, a constantly standing for him and coming up with these weird explanations for his stupid arguments. Yeah, it's, kind of, it's so weird to me. Like that, everybody's just sucks up to him. I don't get it. Like, why doesn't anybody just say, "Oh, you know what? That was actually a really stupid thing you said." Which, if you applied it to him, would be pretty consistently a thing you'd say. Uh, um, whatever. Hello, Fringy, you fabulous frog. Oh, uh, hi. Thanks. This one says late and gay. We were only a little bit late that time, maybe, probably. Um, maybe we'll be on time next time. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? In case you're wondering, Morbius is absolute garbage. Maybe the worst movie I've ever seen. High rags and whoever else happens to be there. I uh, not heard good things about it. I've not heard good things, but I guess it's it's funny to me because people saying like, ah, oh, you know, Morbius is going to be really terrible. It's like, yeah, unlike those other Marvel movies, right? <laughs> like, just I, so I mean, awful. it's not going to be worse than Black Widow, is it? I would be surprised. I guess that's the thing is that there's this. It's it. You see people saying like, oh man, those Sony Marvel movies, what a disaster! It's like what, unlike the current like MCU, you know. Just feels weird whenever you see people like, because there, I think there is a general perception. It's like, yeah, Marvel generally makes decent films, and at this stage, I think the ratio is pretty bad now. Someone said, uh, "No character and thin plot." It's like, ah, still better than Black mm. Widow. Then, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, so what are you describing there? You know, someone film? said it's worse. Like, is it really, really? Is it worse? Is it? I I think it would be hard for Morbius to be worse than Loki. I'm yeah, not really oh, sure how for possible. sure, yeah. I guess maybe... No, There's nobody legacy to ruin. There, well, Vulture, it's maybe... in the after credit scenes, right? True. Yeah, and depending on how everything progresses, that might just be rendered, like, non-canonical, hopefully. Well, uh, there is the issue of him going for Spider-Man and not caring about... But like, maybe there is some form of a context they can provide us. Yeah, maybe. Um... Muller, I didn't expect you to get uh, such a small YouTuber like you to get a cameo in Gedelp. Great to see you moving up in the world. Um, yeah, congrats, man. It's just, this Moopa was asking me, like, can you please tell the audience that this is a real quote? And I was like, alright, because that yeah. Filmento quote is something fucking else. Um, Hello, all. Can you give me several Australian no's? I need a clip for a meme. Well, there's only two of us, so... <laughs> oh, I doubt they want me to do it. I don't know. Oh, so they want oh, me to give them a variety of no's, or... I, I guess they the are question... saying all. Okay. Well, well, we should wait until Rags is here. Maybe oh, I guess we one. can do ours, and then we'll just tell him. I guess oh, yeah, it. yeah, yeah, sure. So, um, you first. No. 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 Good enough. Alright, uh... <laughs> No, 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 no. But yeah, there you go. You go I was going to say, aren't there like a million of you saying this already? <laughs> I can imagine no is a pretty, that's a pretty common, usually used word, you know? Um, also, Jay has DSL and likes to talk about coom. Hi, Rags. I will 
keep the first half and the high rags. I'm gonna try and collect all the high rags. Um, fuck Mary kill Thor from Fate slash Khalid, Lina, Prisma, Ilya, Thor from MCU, and Thor from Stargate SG1. I have no idea what the other two are. Uh, I can't answer this. I have no idea. I'm afraid we lack the context. Did you know if you watch Jaws backwards, it's a very heartwarming story about a shark that gives legs and arms to disabled people. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a magical shark. <laughs> <laughs> I always like those ones because it's just like if you actually watch the film reverse, it would just be a fucking weird nightmare, like where it's just it barfing be. up yeah. flesh. You're just like ew, and somehow it just conjoins to the people, you know, just latches on. Uh, JP Quarter Final Fantasy One didn't come to the West until 1990, and by then Japan already had one through three. I guess it's talking about, I think, didn't Rags oh. mention something about Final Fantasy? Yeah, possibly. Um... Well, yeah, because that was back in the time when uh, that happened, where you just wouldn't get, doesn't happen as often now, where a game will release in one market and then come like five years later or elsewhere. Yeah, man, when you get something digital, it's everywhere. Mm hmm. If Kirby sucked you up, what copy ability would he obtain? Maybe right, longness. Yeah, Maybe goo, I guess. Like you could throw goo vials on the floor and stuff? Yeah, something like that. I was uh, surprised when I was playing that game with how many copy abilities there were and how many evolutions there were. That game is, is big. Because um, when I beat it the other day, I like discovered there's this whole post-game um, that's pretty expansive. Plus, there's a whole bunch of levels I need to go back in 100%. Um, and man, that game, I, people told me that Kirby has eldritch lore, and that's something I'd heard. And yeah, <laughs> it, it really it uh it goes a bit Lovecrafty in there towards the end. Neat. It's a cool game. Um. So instead of localizing FF two and three for the West, they focused on the new SNES entry FF four and named it FF two for the West. Sounds Not confusing. confusing at all. Um, and then uh, FF5 wasn't localized because Square thought us doofy Americans couldn't handle it, but then they localized FF6, naming it FF3 in the West. What the fuck? Man. Sounds like a nightmare. How did this all get solved? Yeah. Like, because I'm assuming it has to get straightened out in, like, wikis and stuff. I figured it would be now, yeah. In 1997, Square finally stopped this madness and called the seventh game FF7 everywhere. We didn't get the actual 2 and 3 and 5 until later. Fuck. Right. <laughs> Jeez. God, that's probably one of the only series where you could play one of them and then say that you've done that and be wrong. Yeah. Um, something is wrong. Dev showed up on EFAB on time. Well, yeah, and he's, uh, coming back for a third outing. Can you believe mm -hmm. it? Well, he was, he was on before, but you know what I mean. A trilogy. Uh... Hello there, Massives. Glad to hear you and Southwell made up. Mad respect for settling your differences like adults and talking things out. Yeah, there was, there was just a couple of uh, mishaps, misunderstandings sort of things. It's all good as far as I know. Cringe is lawful evil. Cringe is lawful evil. Does it mean because, like, don't you don't really... There's no real argument against it, typically. It's just, just cringe. Like, there's no immorality, usually. It's just really cringy. It's just uh, that social awkwardness that results in a reaction of some kind. Today's animal of the day is the black mamba. I know oh, that I one. Know that. Yeah, that's everybody knows that. Pretty the, cool name. The most venomous snake in the world, right? Is it? That's I know that. What I hear. Uh, the black mamba is. Yeah, it, it's. Uh, Damn it, wait, hold on. Um, it's venomous. Damn it, it's uh, yeah, I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. It's very venomous. You, 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 you're, you're not, you're, you're in a lot of trouble if uh, one of those bites you. 
Yeah, I remember what happened to Bud. I was expecting a yes, but I didn't get one. Sorry, I was just I was just <clears> reading <throat> Wikipedia because I feel like it needs to be said again. Wikipedia is your friend. I don't know that I've ever felt like I've lost something by just Wikipediaing when I don't know. Wikipediaing, that's how they say it. Okay. Wikipediaing, yeah. Wikipoodling. Um, because now I also know the range of the Black Mamba as well, because there's a helpful little map of Africa Ooh, that shows... What is the... Oh, they... I thought you meant, like, the striking range. Oh, it also tells us that it's capable of striking at considerable range uh, and may deliver a series of bites in rapid succession. In a threat display, the Black Mamba usually opens its inky black mouth, spreads its narrow neck flap, and sometimes hisses. Its venom... It's primarily composed of neurotoxins that often in, uh, induce symptoms within 10 minutes, and it is frequently fatal unless anti-venom is administered. Despite its re uh, reputation as a formidable and highly aggressive species, the Black Mamba attacks humans only if it is threatened or cornered. I always wondered about that scene in Kill Bill 2, because she, she put it in a briefcase, or like a suitcase, whatever, and then he removes the money... And it goes from, and it's just like, so she must have put it in there, right? Must have been awkward. Mm -hmm. And then, and then had he, like, opened it, or as she was opening it, you heard the hiss? And, and like, maybe a bit of movement on the money? You could, I could totally see him standing up and be like, what the fuck did you put in there? You, you, <laughs> you, are you trying to kill me? And I guess if, if yeah. that happened, she would probably just draw your sword and fucking kill him. I don't know. Mm. It was kind Apparently. of a... It was cool, it was just kind of a weird thing to do, because it's not, like, if you just had a gun, you know? Well, yeah, you, you, I feel like the variables, it, like, increase dramatically when you've got a snake, you know? <laughs> kind of um, like, in the same way that if you tried to, I don't know, like that Family Guy joke where that guy had a bear in his oatmeal, what if the bear just didn't feel like it that day, you know? What if he was really chill? Yeah. Definitely. Well, no, they were working together, so I guess that wouldn't, whatever, yeah. You and there the was, idea. Because there's the whole idea that she wants to try and frame the bride for doing it, but it's like, you could just do that with a gun anyway. Yeah. Um. Poll on which trilogy in the new LEGO Star Wars everyone will start off at. They brought in Clone Wars actors, so dialogue isn't straight from the film. That's true. Um. Mm -hmm. I started with prequels. I think a lot of people start with the OT. Though some people told me they started with um, the sequels to get them out of the way. <laughs> I think I'd probably just do them in order. You know, pre uh, prequels, OT, sequels. <clears throat> Feels right to me, yeah. Uh... Apparently it's been a while since Mola saw Kill Bill. The movie explains why. You did a great job of adding why there, where you ended the sentence. Didn't say. <laughs> Good job. Go ahead, tell us why there is a definitive reason why it would be better for her to use the Black Mamba than just to shoot him. Um, hello, the number one Ewoks of the 77th Reich. The Final Fantasy music of the day is the final battle from Final Fantasy IV. Uh, Nugum has the best upload of it. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on Senator Smith Strong versus Chris Ryden? Who are these people? Senator Smith. Well, they're talking about Armstrong and Ryden, obviously, but I guess they just called him Smith Strong and Ryden for whatever reason. I'm pretty sure we talked about this, or I did. I, I, it's really kind of it's it's very entertaining. Um, Wait, as is this, this weird um, healed Mega uh, Rising review. Yeah, because they spelled Ryden R I D N, so I thought it was someone else. Oh, okay. Ridden. I guess it's a meme. I guess it's a meme. It's that is a funny one because it's a character who you basically hear nothing about for most of the game, and then all of a sudden he's incredibly important and takes up like the last quarter of the game <laughs> and talks about all of these things that you really weren't exploring a whole lot in the game beforehand. I, I like it. It's, um, it's, it's funny. It amuses. Yeah. <clears throat> um, 
You thought movies Anaconda, Komodo, Lake Placid, Snakes on a Plane, Arachnophobia. How could you not throw in eight-legged freaks into that selection? I'm upset. Uh, Oni Play's thumbnail of the day is Sonic Robo Blast 2. Hang on, uh, so Arnie, the ones at this point. Hold on. Oni Sonic Robo Blast 2, was it? Yeah, that's a pretty good thumbnail, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that reminds me. I still need to. I need to watch Sonic too. I need to make some time for it. I'm just gonna show everybody else. Otherwise, be mad at me. And as we've seen, you have to capitulate to chat at every moment. You have the opportunity. Yes, you are not a. You have no will to just make decisions contrary to those. Espoused by your audience, all right? That is true. Uh, doo -doo -doo. RLM's J says Matt Reeves has no creative vision. Yes, he did. I listened to their coverage of Darkman, and uh, he's not even seen No Way Home, but he's he's certain that there is no creative vision at all for someone like uh, Matt Reeves, and he's a person you hire to do everything you want him to do as a student. Sorry, you mean John Watts, right? Not Matt Reeves. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell, my brain just completely melted. I'm pretty sure Jay didn't say this about Matt Reeves. No, uh, he, because... he, he had a big old rant about John Watts, the, about his creative vision. I don't think he I... thinks that about Matt Reeves. I feel so bad for John Watts. Yeah, I feel bad for him he, too. He actually, he actually has created something really cohesive, at least if we focus on the main character's arc, and yet, I don't know, we just... I don't know, it seems super unfair to him. Well, um, yeah, it's, it's not even just that, I just don't like this whole, like, you're welcome to be critical of the visuals that are, uh, lacking, but, like, you can't get away with saying there's none. You can't. You know you can't, and yet you, you keep saying that, it. <laughs> you know that there are great shots in that film. Uh, to say that there are none, yeah, just annoying. And to, like... <sighs> You can diminish any one of the great shots as much as you want, but that means that there was someone who was in control of that camera. I, I swear, it really feels like we've reached the point where people think that Multiverse of Madness is the first Marvel film with cinematography. Like, yep. I, it, it's pretty... I, I saw this as well, because I saw someone's like, oh, this is really good. You know how they, the meme, the floating head poster? How, like, all of the posters for movies are just this compilation of people? People were saying like, oh, but this one's pretty good though. I don't really think that it's any better or worse than any of the other ones, but there's just a, I don't know. Can we, can we just say that at this point that there was kind of a bias in favor of this film? Um, yeah, I'm more than willing to agree with that. Uh, yeah, I don't know it, why this one would get a pass. It's It does a lot of the same things. Is it that it's symmetrical kind of, but it's not. <laughs> it's got the floating heads on the side there. That are kind of just there for no rhyme or reason. It's actually a very busy poster. <laughs> yeah, the posters that we all like, want are like much more minimalist or that. stylistic. Well, in the you know, you maybe have Doctor Strange's face, and half of it is shattered into loads of pieces, and each of the reflections have the characters in them or something. That well, would be much more... they had they had one that was like that, but it ain't the main one because the main one is always the floating heads. It's always the floating heads. There are a lot of great Marvel posters, but they're always the teasers when they get to the proper one that they're like obligated to do or whatever for contracts or because it works for marketing. You know, it's so lame. You remember like the Homecoming teaser poster? It's awesome. Just Spider Man sitting there with New York in the background on an angle, and then far and then Far From Home had that really cool one where it was all the stickers from all of the locations that he visits plastered on the mask. But then the actual poster is shit. <laughs> it's it's really lame as a trend. Um, because even the Batman has like the really cool posters, but then it has the floating head one. Because it just it works. Like I don't know for whatever reason, it seems to just be the way to do it. Well, I'm assuming it's just common denominator of like, oh, Benedict Cumberbatch, I know him. Oh, Elizabeth Olsen, I know her. Oh, exactly. Get the faces on there, as opposed to what would be better, which is probably to just not have all of the characters on the poster. 
You, what you want is the poster, to, especially a poster that you can come back to after seeing the film and be like, oh, that's really good, thinking about it. In terms of what yeah. it can mean. It's like, that's when you got top-tier posters, which there was a whole bunch I of guess, them in existence. It's just you don't get them that often as main posters. I guess the thing is, is that, uh, in, yeah, because there was, the, I saw this one. Um, I think this one's better. And it's like, because you're trying to do something beyond just making sure that you get every single person's face on there as clearly as possible. Yeah. Like, this one. This one's better. I was going to say, um, there's something that I don't quite like about this one. I'm not sure what it is. It might just be the... It looks it might a bit... be that there's too much Doctor Strange in the reflections. Maybe if you had less reflections, less shatterings, but you had more, I guess, and just focused in on the other people's faces a bit more. Maybe. Yeah, see, that one... That one's better. I like the that subtlety really of her cool. shadows. Cause it's cool. Yeah. But that's not the main one, because it never is. Never. It's so funny as well, because I'm like, like, oh yeah, because she'll be playing an antagonistic role, and I'm just like, ah, oh, fucking hell. That's... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah. I swear it, it really is a trope at this point in like superhero stuff when the really powerful female character goes insane or something. It's it's it's, kind, it's a bit of a trope, isn't it? At this point. Uh, speak of the devil, one of my favorite posters ever is Kill Bill Volume Two. It was the Hanzo sword through the death list with Orenishi and Vanita Green's names. Out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Because she killed them both. Kill Bill movies is neat. Mm -hmm. Kirby Music of the Day is Greatest Warrior of the Galaxy, aka Galactica. Sorry, Galacta Knight's theme from Superstar Ultra. I think I got recommended to me on the Galact. What was it called again? Uh, Galacta Knight's theme from Superstar Ultra. Uh, okay. Or the greatest, or greatest warrior of the galaxy, which is unfortunately generic name. <laughs> I just skipped through it. Yeah, it's man, that one's intense. Jeez. <laughs> Bonus fact: intense. When Star Dream summons him, it says he may end up blowing up our planet or two, or blowing up a planet or two. But such is life. Yeah, the Kirby stakes seem to be really high, <laughs> like huge. The Oscar belongs to the plumber who had to clean out Jada's shower drain. Nice. Just chopped all her hair off. Watch episode one of Dave Chappelle's show. Thoughts? I can't remember specifically the episode one. That one had... Did that have the pop copy? That was a really funny <laughs> joke. I, I don't think I even saw it when it came out. Unless I mean a new show. Has he got a new show? I don't think so. Um, Lord Longbong of Mewlington Abbey. Have you given any more thought to a Kong fab of Peter Jackson's Long Kong when there's less going on? Be a movie fab for the ages. Yes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep, keep that back. portion for when Rags is back. I know he's heard it before, right. but it's for him. And uh, yeah, absolutely. At some point, I think that is gonna happen. At some point, not sure what point it'll be, yeah. but it will be a point. I finally caught an EFAP live. Please take my money. Also, hi, Rags. Um, thank you very much. And I'll keep Thanks. that for Rags, too. It's funny, because these Super Chats are all early game. Um, it, it will turn. As soon as they hear yeah. some stuff from her, it's gonna turn. Uh, Bird, stop pecking your mic. It'll sound better. Oh, they're talking about the static. Yeah. Uh, has there been any of it today, or...? Not heard a single amount today, so... Okay, cool. Uh, Moon Knight's main character is horrifically annoying. This is when episode one was only out, so... Uh, I disagree. No one acts like that. No investment in what is going on. I can't care about the beta dork. I'm sure there's someone who acts like that. What do you mean no one acts like that? Are they talking about yeah. his reactions to the crazier events, or are you talking about the base base character? Because he's, he's a bit of a pushover who's a bit nerdy and interested in, like, ancient history. Like, why wouldn't someone yeah. like that exist? And I like him. I don't know, I like he's, him he's more, more common than uncommon. He seems like a normal person. Well, this way, I mean, of all of the new characters who've been introduced over the last couple of years, I'm most interested in him. Um, yeah. 
I can't see any. Well, I'm already hearing that's talk about episode two out. being different from one, and people are upset or whatever. I'm just like, all right, I got uh, I got to see it for myself. Uh, what did I mean by different? This thing, I gotta, I gotta see it. See if they've done a Marvel or not. I don't know. Well, maybe. Apparently, uh, the thing you were talking about before, the Mister Knight, uh, he's he's gonna be in it. And Brown Table said he he really didn't like Mister Knight. Which is interesting. Okay. Well, so something that I've I've heard is that um, they've done they've done a bit of a bit of a big old change uh. In the comics, like Mister Knight is his own separate personality, and so is Moon Knight, kind of. Uh -huh. But in the show, it's Mister Knight is is Stephen, and Moon Knight is Mark. So I don't know if we're doing as many personalities this time around. Okay. Um... Might be focusing on two, which I guess is that's a choice you can make. Um, it feels like uh, if you have more variables at play, that could be more interesting, maybe like a bit more fun. I think we talked about it before, but like, what I would want, and you'll get full coverage of Moon Knight more than likely by the time it's all out, probably. folks. Um, but just, uh, I would probably have a personality that uh, Mark is terrified of and warns yeah. Steven about. He's just like, just hope that guy, you know, like, and you can bait that for a while. But I also oh. wouldn't mind one that doesn't come out until like fucking season two or even three, but plenty of clues like, uh... have been there. Yeah, and to where neither of them have an awareness of that character's existence. Let's uh, let's let's really play around with this premise, you know. Yeah. Um, maybe that is part of the plan, though. Who knows? Um, how you doing, EFAP crew? Was wondering what you guys would recommend as a starting mic and editing program for s a starting YouTuber. XLR, uh, not XLR. Sorry, the A two twenty twenty. USB, you could get that. I think they're not too expensive. Um, the yeah. lowest you want to go, I would say, is a blue snowball. Uh, right. Next up would be blue yeti. Next up would be eighty twenty twenty. Next up is the short microphone. That's the four that, as I know it, and I don't think it's really changed yet. Um, so they they're ordered in terms of price effectiveness. I think the snowball is easily the cheapest. Um, so. You know, look at the affordability of a lot of them, and then just pick the one you think matches. As for editing programs, uh, we we here use Vegas, but uh, a lot of people yes. use Premiere, and I imagine there's a lot of different options you can use out there. I just I'm not a great person to ask this anymore. Well, the thing is, if, if you're going to be using other stuff in the Adobe Suite, you could go for Premiere, but you can get Vegas through like um uh the the what's the humble bundle stuff. Yes. Um, and you can get it for cheap, so keep an eye out for that. 80, 80, 20, 20. Yeah, is that what I said? <laughs> oh, I think Thunder said it. He's, he's like, ah, fuck. Ah. Uh, also, what games do you wish were added to PC minus Persona 5 Royal? Bloodborne. Get Bloodborne uh, on PC. Yeah, and fix it up. Um, I, I'd like a, a lot of PlayStation games to come to PC. Like, if there was just a easier way of getting like a whole bunch of old ps2 games on pc that'd be cool because yeah. i feel like i'd want to there's uh there's videos i would make that if i could more easily get that uh gameplay captured and would be easier for me on pc like infamous i think that could be cool but i don't know that's ever going to happen i don't want to have to grab my ps3 find a way to set it up to capture from there and yeah you know what i want an absurd package called the the nostalgia box, and you get um, a very specific and fluid and smooth and updated and perfectly populated Halo 3, Call of Duty Modern yeah. Warfare 2, and Gears of War 2. Because <laughs> be cool. those days were some of my favorite memories for just playing multiplayer with friends and bob, uh, bob in between a lot of them. Yeah. Um, what is the tastiest animal in Australia? Uh, kangaroo is pretty good. I haven't had it in a long time though, so I can't remember. I think you can have crocodile too. Is that tasty? Um, I haven't had it, so I don't know, but I know that that's something you can eat. Oh, PlayStation Now, there's a PC version. Isn't that, that's that subscription service, right? That is like cloud. 
Uh, hmm. Barramundi? Yeah, I like Barramundi. That's cool. I guess that counts as Australian. That's an Australian fish. People eat kangaroos? Yeah, there are a lot of kangaroos in this country. I think, I don't know that it's the case anymore, but for a long time, kangaroos outnumbered humans. On, uh, not on Earth, but in Australia. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I typed into Google tastiest animal to eat, and it's got like, it's got like a listing. And so, before I say what's on it, what would you have guessed would be in top three? I don't know, like beef or something, pork? Well, one of my guesses would have been chicken. Yeah. Um, like, I, I just don't understand. So, I think that's a good choice. chicken ain't I, number I mean, one, I it ain't number okay. two, it ain't number three or four or five or six. It lands at really? seven. Ah, get out of here. It's beaten I, out. Chicken, it's beaten out in, in descending order of six to one. It's beaten out by beef, lobster, salmon, duck, pork, and lamb. I... nah. Like, does this seem accurate to you guys in chat? I think chicken is boss. I love chicken. I had I, I was eating KFC the other day, because, as you do, and I remember when I was eating it, all I could think is, man, fucking love chicken. <laughs> like, I love it. This is good shit. Got, sounds right. Someone said virgin baller. For what? Valuing chicken? <laughs> That's... <laughs> hey, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna say chicken is, like, definitively better than lobster or anything, but I don't know, man. Fucking salmon, pork, and lamb. I, I've, yeah, I've, fair, I've had enough I of all like of them that. to know that chicken beats them out. I'm sorry. Yeah, chicken is incredibly versatile. Chicken is goat. But for a lot of people, it really is, yeah. Chicken is, is greater than KFC. I, we don't have that here. We don't have all of the fast food options that you have. But, um, I know chicken's my favorite, but like... You know, I, I was just curious what the world's favorite is, and apparently it's lamb. I wouldn't have guessed. That's, uh, I, I really like pork, um, and bacon, and ham. See, pork I can believe. Magical, magical creature, <laughs> as Homer would say. Wait, do you think I, I said, I was saying lamb is apparently the most, uh... Yeah, no, I know yeah, you said yeah. that. I, so, I don't know that I would, yeah. I like lamb, but I don't know if I'd consider it my favorite. <laughs> lamb is very good meat if cooked on its own. Lamb is pretty good and tender. I just I, wouldn't have thought it was lamb. You I'm know? not denigrating lamb. I really like lamb. I'm, I just don't know that I would consider it to be What's the, the thing? best. I prefer chicken to pork, but if pork were number one, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. Because, mm -hmm. like, yeah, pork is a magical animal, okay? Or meat. <laughs> the thing is, for me, is I think beef is a little bit overrated. I like it, but I prefer a lot of other meats over beef. I'm not a fan of beef. I, uh, um... I just, yeah, I just don't like I it as much as the others. Pork. I'll have beef, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Apparently number eight is deer. I've had venison. That was uh once. That was really that was interesting. I liked it, but uh it's pricey, or at least it was when I had it. That was when I was over in the UK. Cause I don't we don't I don't know where you would go to get deer in Australia. They <laughs> that they're not really just roaming about here. A lot of people are talking about, like, oh, well, if you cook it at its best, like, duck or whatever would win. I'm just like, surely all of them at their best is going to be tough to be, like, it to decide. Yeah. Them, yeah. Has Gordon Ramsay talked about this? What's What does he think is the best one? <laughs> he probably I talked about it from a chef's right. perspective as well. Well, I remember uh, I watched the thing where he, uh, he he went to he went to Norway to get some crazy king crabs or something, and uh, when he had it, he thought about replacing lobster with king crab. That's how much he liked it. Interesting. Uh, come to America and kill your own deer, fringy duff in brackets kappa. Yeah, not sure how I feel about hunting. Uh, I have a question. If I donate enough money to Punto, can they let an asteroid through the atmosphere so, so it crashes into the South Pacific Ocean so we can finally create the mythical and fictitious land of Australia? Um, Australia is not in the South Pacific. Also, Australia is between the Pacific and the... That's Indian. not how land gets formed. <laughs> no, it's not. I know. The To get... A meteor the size of Australia to hit Earth. <laughs> I think we're in trouble. Yeah. I think I, I don't know that we'd be 
I mean, maybe it would create a new piece of land, but it would also create a whole bunch of problems. A few, yeah. Fresh king, king oh my, I can't say it. Fresh king crab is delicious. Well, I remember uh, when I, this is, it's pretty funny to say, yeah, I don't know how I feel about hunting. Anyway, when I was a kid, we went to this beach and just collected like 50 crabs that were just sitting out there on the, uh, on the, uh, on the sand. And I remember, uh, I remember there was a period when I was kind of just more interested in fishing and all that. And we had the crab and it was fantastic. And then I went to Woolworths and it's like, oh, they got crab and I got it. And I learned a valuable lesson that day, which is that when you get your own crab, a lot better than when you go to the shops to get the crab. That crab tasted like shit compared to the fresh crab that we got. Though I'm sure there are better places you can get it. I feel bad for people who don't live on the ocean, by the way. Like, on, like you know, live in... in um, uh coastal cities you you miss out on on well i guess unless you live near a river you miss out seafood is, is awesome i love fish where do you get your garfish no i did get that from more worse <laughs> uh, crab at woolworths lol right so in america i i don't know what your woolworths is but here it's it's like it's groceries Thoughts on Kung Fu Panda films and How to Train Your Dragon. I really like Kung Fu Panda 1. I think that film's strong. And I like How to Train Your Dragon, the first one. I don't think I saw the second or third. I haven't seen the first one. I haven't seen any of them. I can't remember if I've seen Kung Fu Panda 2. I know I really like the first one. I've seen 2. I have, but I don't remember much about 2. I didn't see 3. Gary Oldman was in 2. Oh, yeah. Um, hope is like wet bread. It's everywhere. Chase back Bilbo face. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know that hope is, is everywhere, especially these days, you know? It's, it's just, we, we just gotta give up. Load it all. Australia nuke. Australia-sized nuke, not specifically a nuke to Australia. Don't worry, I'm gonna hit the hole there. Uh, okay. You should see the Spec Evo Project Serena, a natural history of the world of birds. It has fish deer people and a species literally called the Wumpo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the great species name. Um, fish deer people. Sounds, sounds interesting. Uh, Cinema Wins just came out with everything great about Zack Snyder's Justice League Part 2. Uh, this is where the fun begins. Yeah, so it's, he took too long on, to capitalize on that one. Um, oh, but hey, you guys will hear about the flash leaks. <laughs> Wait, I don't here. think I have. Wait, what are we? What's what flash leaks? Oh, you remember? I it was. I think I. I think I, I definitely told you about it. Oh, well, because there was test screenings for the Flash, and um, one of the prevailing things to come out of it uh, is that. The, the the reset for that universe is going to be that a Henry Cavill Superman oh, gets right, killed yeah. by God uh, when he was a baby, and it's like, man, you, they're just uh, they uh, they really want to. I know drive a, a certain wedge. group of people who will find that hideous to see. Uh, well, I think it's a pretty bad decision to just lock yourself off from having Superman. Well, yeah, but that. That's the thing. We will like we will consider step. it bad, and we will talk about why it's a bad choice. The people I'm talking about will probably blow a gasket of several magnitudes. Yeah, probably. Well, yeah, because uh, yeah, I I I'm not sure why. I I don't know what's happened, but I really have come around on a not on Man of Steel. That movie fucking sucks. But um, on Superman, I I, I think I like him a lot more now. I think that Superman has become incredibly unique in this landscape, and it's a little bit annoying to me that we're never gonna really see any like good Superman films for a while at this point because of Man of Steel and all that shit. Um, Henry Cavill would be a really good Superman with better material, you know, like if if you gave him the standard Superman stuff, yeah. Oh, dude, uh, easily he could be great. Uh, he's he's kind of perfect in terms of the casting. It's just um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's uh, we're just not interested in doing a, a standard Superman story where he's a good guy and trying to balance all of his obligations and everything. 
And I guess that's not going to happen now because, uh, I don't know, <laughs> they're cutting their losses, though. Then again, it gets really awkward when uh, the movie that you need to reset your universe has a lead who's consistently getting himself in trouble. Um, and so it's like, man, can you even replace him? How is that even going to work? And that film's probably going to be a mess, too. Just... It probably is, because how the hell are you going to explain fusing, like, the Tim Burton Batman universe and all that into how am I meant to do? you're kind of doing a Days of Future Past thing, where it's like, wait, so what is canon now? Like, what what is the timeline properly? Which, by the way, the only reason the MCU still has, like, a, a kind of a sense of, um, you know, what is, like, like that we treat it that way is because everyone's pretending like Loki didn't happen, okay? You kind of have to, because Loki is pretty, because I, th I think I mentioned it on stream, but, like, Loki has made it to where, like, all of the other Marvel films that were done before kind of, like, chronologically occur after everything in the MCU. It's like this weird, everything revolves around Loki now. It is the most important piece of content in the MCU, like, far and away. Um, but not to people is, who don't care about canon. Like, the only reason Raimi Spider-Man only exists because of Sylvie. Think about it like that you know, canonically in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and probably same with X-Men and, and everything else that they try to integrate. That's all contingent on her killing Kang. Loki is the most yeah. important one. And it's Funny you terrible. say that, because, like, yeah, based on what they claim in Loki, which... Because, like, the but multiverse what, show with Doc Strange could have happened with no Loki show happening at all. I don't um, know why we even need an explanation for a multiverse. No, know? but... Like, with Loki, it's like, oh, look at the branching paths, the multiverse, yeah. there's so many barbers. Like, uh -huh. Even though it, the Ancient One said that the multiverse existed in Doctor <laughs> Strange. Yeah. Uh, we don't care about that, shut up. No, we, 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 don't, we don't talk about Doctor Strange because, I don't know, we've decided not to. Wings quote of the day. Yay, you're so inventive. You think Biden's driving up the price of lasagna? Why didn't I ever think of that? Damn that, Joe Biden. The lasagna was $30 when Trump was president. <laughs> <laughs> driving it up from $30. Oh my god. That, that's that top of the shelf fucking lasagna, you know? It's the really good stuff. Um, bonus quote. Would I live a day as the opposite gender? Pfft, I don't know, man. I'd be the ugliest, starts with B and ends with itch, alive. <laughs> oh, right, they're saying that because to cover themselves be muted. So he says right. if he was a girl, he'd be the ugliest bitch alive. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Um, mad and old? I thought it was mad and bald. Molding... I remember I being know. associated with someone's hair falling out from stress or something like that. Like right. they're so angry their hair's falling out. I can't quite remember though. Uh, Mansa Musa travel packs carries all your needs, including gold, the universal currency. Wherever you go, only two thousand four hundred ninety-nine dollars ninety-nine. Uh, gold ah. not included. Gold <laughs> not included. <laughs> Jeez. Of course, Fringy like asks about a problem. lizard. I can't remember what the context for that would be. I cannot remember either. I wonder if we would have remembered at the ninth hour, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, maybe. Oh, man. a lot of <laughs> lifetimes have been lived once you've seen that Danim supercut. Yeah. Uh, old man rags confused over Zuma speak. Oh, well, I don't blame him at all. <laughs> well, Some of this stuff confuses me. Like, yeah. uh, pause champing. Like, the effort's what? taken to try and explain and I'm just sitting here like, there's no... It reminds me of Shimbo. Shimbo is the sh female version of Himbo, which is the male version of Bimbo. Like, but Bimbo wasn't specific to male or female anyway, wasn't it? It was like a description of a person who's, like, very attractive but dumb as fuck. And, like, gets through life viably through that. Uh, uh, but I can at least understand why you would make Himbo. But then Shimbo is just like... Wait, why? What? 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 What are we doing? Nah, bimbos with chicks. You could totally call a guy a bimbo. I, 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 I'd seen it happen. So, 
-hmm. it definitely existed colloquially if it didn't exist definitionally. Um, in fact, I've seen people call Hassan a bimbo, which is true, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I can understand people going with himbo, but uh, yeah, there's language on Twitch. Where I'm pause champing, and you're like, what does that mean? It's like pausing a lot. It's like, oh, so why didn't you just say that? It's like, so, so why don't yeah, just saying pausing instead of pause champing? That's just you're adding and making it more. Con eh. And why even try to understand it? Yeah. And you know, I don't even like. It's not like I don't participate in some of this stuff, which I just find. Uh, wait. Someone said no. It's not. Didn't you just say bimbos look good? I think Hassan is is definitely conventionally attractive. Okay, there is no need to be like he's an idiot. Therefore, he has to be ugly. Some, um, the meathead sort of thing. We're gonna have a Brie Larson situation again, where everyone's like, no, she's definitely hideous. The Brie Larson one is like, you guys are just don't live in reality. I don't know what to tell you. Like, if I, how how can anybody actually, like, unironically be like, yeah, you know, Brie Larson's not an attractive woman. She doesn't take care of herself, you know? Like, I that's that's stupid. Mola's turning to the dark side. All right. You're all crazy. That's, that's all I have to say. Okay. Um, also, I will I will concede that Hassan's choice of like only a mustache and Lord Farquaad hair is a very bad bad combo. Um, Bree is damn attractive. All right, it's time for you all to fight o over it yourselves. Okay, we'll keep reading super yeah. chats. Um, all right, there's one for rags. I shall hang on to that one. Hey, endgame question. Why couldn't Cap bring young Peggy Carter back to the future with him? Gamora shows timeline shenanigans don't happen. I... I don't fucking know why I don't think she would agree to that, anymore. would she? I... I doubt it. Um, but I mean, I don't know. Uh, like, I hope it's not going to be contentious, but Steve abandons, like, the modern day. He, the cause. He just leaves them. Yeah, dude, Wait, it's so fair. Yeah. I said the cause. Like, it's it's so fairy tale-y. Like, and then he lived happily ever after. Like, no, he no, he doesn't. He doesn't. That's the whole point of the character. He does not live happily ever after. He keeps he fighting. Yeah, that's he doesn't give up. That's pretty much the one thing. But he, I think, what annoys me is there'll be people like, yeah, but it's the end. Like they beat Thanos. It's, <laughs> why would you expect dude. there to never be a Thanos threat again? Well, why why would you expect that? When Tony said, "I am Iron Man," and then that was the end of the MCU because there was no more bad guys. Yeah, that's like, right. Oh wait, there was another one. Fuck. Mm. Still, Tony shouldn't have even died. Like, why didn't Captain Marvel? Do oh, sorry. It? No, I, I was I was referencing to Iron Man One. No, I I know I know that. I'm just thinking about that. He didn't need to die. He really didn't. Like, yeah, yeah. My favorite part in that final battle is when Thanos forgets that he has two arms and just nearly allows himself to be decapitated. By he Thor. also has to not feel the impact of losing all of the stones from his hand because they need it for the payoff. That's absurd. That's absurd. I don't see how he see, could possibly the, not. That's the kind of thing where I believe it probably did come up. They were like, wouldn't he notice that? And they were like, oh man, we haven't got the but time. That it's cool of a reveal. Yeah, we just, we haven't got the time to, to fucking fix yeah. that. So fuck it, uh, he doesn't. Yeah, time revert. Well, I think that's probably going to be the... Because as far as I'm concerned, like, the Avengers made a pretty irresponsible decision to not reverse time. I think that... I, d I don't see the world where reversing time is, like, the worst decision compared to just bringing half of the world back, the universe, sorry, without any warning, when all of... when, like, so many people are gonna die. Um, and I don't see why we can't have the stones bring back all of, like, you know, if you reverse time, give allow people to retain their memory of those events and then bring back any people who were born during that period so that, you know, so that there's basically the most... I feel like no matter what you do, there's going to be some loss of life, but that would probably have the minimal loss of life compared to bringing half of the universe back without any warning. So many people are going to die. It's, it's going to be insane. The amount of resource, like, crunch that's going to happen, holy shit. Not enough food, not enough staff to man hospitals, massive amounts of di uh, displacement of people. It's going to be insane. Um, and this is all remembering that they didn't have to do the five-year time jump. Like, that was a choice they made. They didn't have to do that. Um, 
if, if you're going to do something like the snap and you don't want to deal with all of these moral quandaries, like you just don't want to deal with it, don't write the story like that. Make different choices. Ah, oh, sorry, I don't mean to... <laughs> Video... Uh, look, we're getting there, all right? Mm-hmm. It's closer to being done than not. Can I just... Which, uh, imagine you said, like, Marvel Studios, you're like, you have the clout of, like, a really, I don't know, talented director, writer, person, and you're like, look, give me the biggest budget you can under your restrictions for, like, a solo pro, like, a, the Joker-type situation, and, um, I'm gonna make a splintered-off different universe thing. It'll match up with the multiverse crap. Mine is gonna take off right from, like, the beginning of Infinity War, and... I will be able to describe, like, what happens, but in my timeline, in my multiverse, there is no Loki thing. That's just, that's no, that's I... my version of the multiverse. That's just, it, it's more of a meta multiverse thing, a different timeline, a different existence, like the fucking Kelvin thing. And then just be like, so I'm just gonna go back to then, and, uh, no Loki, and I'm just gonna make, you know, uh, give me a Daredevil movie. What about all the people who move, like, uh, on from spouses and such when they're back? I'll give you one that's a lot more challenging Ugh. that the film doesn't want to talk about. Let's say that you're a guy, uh, and you have a family, and all of them get snapped. Am I to believe that there wouldn't be a few people who are like, I'm out, see ya, bye, and then, and then what happens when they- what happens? Oh, hey, Tony brought you back, your dad killed himself when you all disappeared, he, he really couldn't take it, um, good luck. You know, what about all the kids who get left behind? Like, imagine that you're a guy, I, I keep saying a guy, imagine, I don't know, you have, you're, you're a single mom, you got the kids, and then both of the kids get snapped, and then you decide to move. Man, I'm you know sure what? those kids are going to have a real scary time trying to find their parents in the midst of all this chaos. I like, consider I'm it sorry. pretty flimsy, the idea that, like, you know, I can believe Tony would make this decision because he, he wants to save his daughter or whatever in the face of the reality of what we're going through with all of these different scenarios. This is like a, when you want to be okay with that amount of damage and death. However, even that doesn't account for it because you have to have the whole team sign off. I, that's the big problem. Uh, it's like there is, this is a decision that Tony, Tony says, I'm only going to help if I get to keep my family. That's basically his terms. I think that's a little fucked. Um, that he would only help on his terms because I think his terms are pretty unfair to the world. Uh, and then Steve's like, yeah, that seems fair. I don't think it's fair. Uh, but no, there's no conversation. Everybody just seems to be chill with it, which I don't believe. Oh, dude, I, I don't. Scenario. Am I to believe Hawkeye's gonna, like, Clint's gonna be happy that he's lost five years with his kids? No. Like, that's um, five years that he's probably, yeah. Uh, someone in chat imagine, like, parents getting snapped with a kid in the crib. Like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and then Rough. they get snapped back, and it's this is, and and we're talking about we're talking about the individual stories. Just think about the logistics. The world is designed for the amount of people who are in it. Kind of no more, well, very much no more, but also kind of no less. The breakdown in infrastructure, um, in the wake of the snap, is going to be appreciable. A lot of countries are probably going to get gobbled up or destroyed. Civil wars. Lots of death, lots of death and destruction and despair. But then you bring all those people back and you've got the same problems again. You're not going to have enough food. A lot of people are going to die of starvation. Um, but hey, no, everything's happy. All right, everything's good. Because you know what? If you disappeared for five years and then came back and the whole world had moved on without you, I'm sure that wouldn't be at, at all disorienting considering it's it's... I don't see how you rationalize the choice to just snap everybody back without any rewind or anything like that. That isn't an, I I don't see how I don't know what I don't know what worse decision you could make. Um I yeah, I actually don't know what worse decision you could make than that. I guess other than not trying to save anybody at all. <laughs> um yeah, it's it's insane. It reminds me of the, um, the wheels doors thing, where people just keep thinking of like scenarios and events that are definitely going to happen and how horrible they are. Like, oh yeah, think about blah 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 blah, and you're like, oh fuck yeah, all of that, and yeah. like, think about this, and you're like, ah. Oh. Well, well, so just remember, we're talking about potentially billions of displaced people. Imagine all the hospital uh, deaths from all the patients that couldn't be taken care of. Well, yeah, because the hospitals would be wound down to accommodate the people, and then all of a sudden, like, imagine you had cancer or something, you were rigged up to a machine, and then you got snapped, and you get snapped back, and, and you're just sitting there on a bed with no IV, no anything, 
during um, surgery. Or maybe if the hospital doesn't exist. Well, I have. There's a joke in the video where I say if you were having open heart surgery, you would just pop back in with an exposed abdomen. It's like you will. You 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 go back to where you were, dude. See that Plains, alone, that um, one example would be enough for me to be like, we can't do this. We need to think about this more. We need to because with reverse time, you don't have to worry as much about where people are. You know, you don't have to worry about place. Um, you don't. Your main problem will be well. So, what are we doing in terms of like all of the kids who were born during this period? What's 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 the plan? But I don't I don't know why we would assume that the Stones can't bring Morgan and those kids back. I, why would they? You you you've got the reality oh, Stone, right? It controls reality. Why can't it was you just crap bring right? And when they say like, oh, I couldn't bring Black Widow back, why? It's like couldn't. Like, why? It's like why? Oh, not? Okay. Even the people who were like, well, you can't because she was the cost for the the Soul Stone or whatever. It's like why the fuck are we suddenly pretending that that's a rule and that's just how it definitely yeah. works? Fine, bring back a I copy of it then. Yeah, because as we see with Gamora, like, what does it even mean at this point, you know? Um, oh, yeah, the heart's not in your- Fuck, I probably should rewrite that joke, yeah. Nah, fuck it, whatever, that's fine. I already- I already recorded that part. Um, yeah, Endgame is terrible. Um, it's- it's pretty dire. It's, um, aged super horribly bad, like, because- that was, like, a titan at one point. Everybody really... Well, a lot of people still really like it. Though I have noticed that there is more sentiment around that Infinity War is better. Um, it should which be, because it is. Because Infinity War is much better. And, um... Yeah, I think even, uh, even... I can't remember, did we give it a 3 for consistency when it first came out? Yeah, it's like a 1, really. Oh yeah, I, I would easily agree at this point. Um, I think because at the time we still thought that Cap and Tony, we certainly thought Tony was was good. Yeah, but the problem is I don't I don't know that anybody really escapes unscathed except Black Widow. But like even then, it's still that's kind of tainted by Black Widow the film, and also she is still she can still be implicated for the decision right to not reverse time. Um, is it is it worse than Loki? I don't know. Loki says there's no free will, you know? <laughs> it's, uh, well, yeah. Loki damages everything, including Endgame, and, and you know, so it's, it's kind of like, it does. whatever it damage does, Endgame yeah. did, Loki kind of does that too. Amplifies. Yeah. yeah. Weird. You guys gave it a five at first? For consistency, really? We might have, but... but yeah, that's definitely think... a uh, needs revision sort of score. <laughs> yeah. Um... What if you spawn into another person? Yeah, I mean, what if you spawn into a wall? What if you spawn, you're in a plane, you just plummet to your death? I remember Jay was saying like, oh, well, why wouldn't we just assume they put you in a safe place? It's like, why would we assume that? <laughs> it says back where you came from. We saw in Far From Home that that spawned like the band players on a basketball court. That's not safe. Somebody gets seriously hurt. Um... Imagine all the marriages that got messed up. Dude, it's just, there are, there are many broken families. Many. More than not. Um, that you, that... And I'm sure there will be a lot of people who would be like, oh, thanks, Tony. Um, thanks. I missed out on the most important years of my kid's life um, that I'll never be able to get back. And, and they suffered without me. They, they, um, th there's nothing I can do to fix that. But hey, at least you got your family, right? At least everything's good for you. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I'm sure there'd be. A, oh, Robo Fringy, what's happening? You sound fine now. Okay. What I, what I was saying is, um, there'd be a lot of people who'd probably be like, "Oh yeah, thanks, Tony, man. I'm so glad I missed out in the formative years of my kid's life. They were they were suffering. They were in trouble. I wasn't there. I couldn't help them. They've got to carry that trauma for the rest of their lives. But hey, at least you got to keep your family right, buddy. Thanks, dude. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Well, it's too late. He's dead. Nobody can criticize him now. Wow. I don't know, we're just- we gotta pretend that he- yeah. Yeah. All they had to do was acknowledge how devastating it was. They're never gonna do that because it's- it's too devastating. Um, it's the it would be the worst thing that ever happened in the history of, like, human- humanity. Half the world. Half. Half. Like- I will say at least gonna, half. At least half. And this is, and, and not just on Earth, everywhere. Well, and, everywhere and I don't think they ever acknowledged this, but it literally could have been 90% that was snapped. 
There's no reason for that not to happen on Earth. It's half of life in the universe, so... It's half of life in the universe, so it could it could end up being pretty bad. Are they like children um, when they address it? Because I'm pretty sure they give us the standard number of what we would expect it to be. Like, based on... They say human. half. Yeah, but it's, and it's just like... On... Oh... Turned out to be half, yeah. huh? And it's just, and the, I, I honestly think if I said it turned out to be half, the the Russes would be like, "What do you mean it turned out to be half?" Well, it could have been a lot more or less, really. Uh, and then they'd be like, depends. "Well, no, Thanos, the snap is half of life." Ha oh, how much plant life? Yeah, we don't talk about that <laughs> quote where they said that. I don't even think I mentioned it in the video. Maybe I should, but like they said that half of the plants is die as well, which means Earth is fucked. Everybody dies if half of the plants die. Um, yeah, um, it would be more than half, push. even if it were definitively half of Earth's life, just because loads of people die as a knock-on effect. Yeah, what about bacteria? Does it kill half the bacteria in you? If it kills, which means everyone's <laughs> dead the... then. Which, yeah, which and if it kills half the plants, everybody's dead. Which is funny, right? Because I know this is, sounds like a silly question, but it is for real. Like, does the gauntlet recognize the difference between like mm -hmm. all of these things? You know, like, fucking some crazy doctor is making a human centipede. It's like, does the gauntlet know? Like, that that is mm -hmm. several existing lives? Or does it treat them all as like, well, they're all connected. Fuck it. It's just one life. Well, I mean, as we saw, right, the, the stones are like, ah, your clothes turn to... They, you know, we don't, we're not doing the War of the Worlds thing. Um, it, th Things that exist on you also get snapped. So I guess it has some level of intuitiveness on that front. And isn't that, like... It's fucking terrifying, but actually real things that happen where people, to keep... I remember reading it on Reddit, some guy got his, like, arm cut off in some horrible accident, and they had to just sew it on to, like, his thigh until they could get his arm ready to be reattached, because they had to keep it alive with the blood flow. And so, like, it's all stuff like this. Does the gauntlet go through it all? And it's like, I think this counts. You know, like, it's having those existential well, crises, just like, I don't know if that counts as a person or not. I don't know. Well, conjoin twins? Does it just take one of them? I and don't what? know. What a, and remember, Doctor Strange's cape died too, but the cape is alive. Like, the, his cape is its own thing, but it dies yep. with him at the same time. Um, yeah, there's, look, it's, it's really bad film, okay? Um, planets move, by the way, just uh, worth keeping in mind. I guess you can intuit, hey, put them on the planet, right? Unless you're in a spaceship, in which case, I guess you just fucked. <laughs> like, see it. <laughs> and there probably are a lot of people on spaceships because the galaxy's filled with space. Man, Earth is so special, too, you know? Like, Xandar doesn't... The thing. Xandar ain't shit compared to Earth. Earth's got so many important people on it. This was seriously a thing that was happening. We'd have to, like, set an area, probably in America, some enormous expanse of land, maybe a desert, uh... Get a, get yeah, a like, sheltering there, and then get loads of prep for just all kinds of, like, cubicles for water sources and sleep and shelter, no, but just we don't, everything. They don't, even, they don't coordinate with the government, because imagine how helpful just... That's what I'm saying, though. Like, that's what you have ahead them. of you if you were to write it properly, but they didn't want to. Like, like how much fucking work no. is that? It's like, that is a lot of work. It's like, oh, I don't want to do that. And it's like, well, you snapped half of existence. These are the problems you have to deal with now. I don't know. And then, yeah, you have to process everybody, and then there's still plenty of great stories to make from that, being that the reality. You have all of these people from all over the Earth are dropped into, you know, a large portion of a desert somewhere in America, because that's just the, the thing. You know, those are the kinds of things that I think would be likely problems, where then someone says, like, why the fuck did you drop all these people in America, as opposed to the places they came from? And they'd be like, well, because we... Because, like, that's, it's, if we could get them all processed at the same time, they're all people experiencing the same, you know, I could see them arguing about that being an actual fair decision, as opposed to, you didn't tell anybody in the, on the planet this was happening. You're like, nope. Okay. Yeah. Like, it's so What is your argument for that? And it's like, well, they don't have one, because they didn't think about it. Or, they must have thought about it. Maybe they thought about it, but they decided it wasn't worth going into because the reality is most people watched it and kind of didn't think about these things. Um, I, I think I think a lot of people will accept on face value. It's like, oh yeah, everything's fine, right? Because the film says so. Um, but it's not. It, it's throughout the film. I saw someone saying only Tony and Blue Lady survived. It's like you know, 
Captain Marvel found them like the day before they ran out of oxygen in space. Yeah. Holy shit. She showed up one day later. The whole film doesn't happen anymore. Well, yeah, if I'm... Tony doesn't stumble across time travel as a solution just in his like first attempt or whatever. Well, the fact that it's even possible that it doesn't change the past because I that that might be like the single most annoying line in any of these films. If you travel to the past, that past becomes your future. It's like, no, it doesn't. It becomes your present because you're in it. And that doesn't mean anything. What if it does become your future? What, is, what does that mean? And he's like, it can't now be changed. It's like, why not? How, how could you know this? Something that annoys me about it as well is, oh, Back to the Future is bullshit. It's like, Back to the Future works way better as a time travel story than Endgame. Really annoys me that you'd be like, yeah, Back to the Future, that's some dumb shit. Not like Endgame, which is really smart and good. It just annoys me. Professor Hulk annoys me in that film a lot, actually. It's, it's just a stupid character. They were probably gonna, they probably like tested saying Terminator was a bunch of bullshit. They were just looking for the one that gives the best laugh. Um, yeah, maybe back to, well, because they, they keep memeing. It's like, are you saying that your plan to save the universe is based on Back to the Future? It's like, dude, that's better than based on nothing, which is yours. Like, because <laughs> they're like, oh, we need to follow the strict rules of time. Because here, here's the meme, right? By going back to the past and like, I guess, even displacing air, you've already changed the past. Like, by being there, you've kind of necessarily yeah, changed it. It can't coexist with how the past existed before. But the thing is, is that, that according to Endgame, it's all one timeline, and the only reason it would branch is because the stones don't exist in that timeline, because that's what the Ancient One says, Ugh. and Bruce kind of accepts that wholesale. But it doesn't, it doesn't make sense, because Cap goes back in time and doesn't come back and grows old and exists in that timeline, so it all happened. Fuck, sorry, we, we've been on this tangent. Yeah, the video's coming, all right? Um... <laughs> It's, it's a it's yeah. a wound, okay, and it just got opened up a little bit there. It got opened up a little bit, but it's funny because last night I was thinking like, man, I'm I'm like ready to never think about Endgame ever again. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much done with that film. Um, but I'm not done with the video, so <laughs> you know, we're getting there, guys. Um, we we are getting there. I can't tell you when it's going to be out yet because there's still a bit of work to do, but it's it's getting close. Uh um, <laughs> better Bruce Lee film, The Big Boss or Fist of Fury? Uh I wouldn't know. I, don't I, haven't, seen those. I haven't seen the big boss. Um Chat, you must decide. Vote now. Um Some Eleven had me a blast. Some eleven happened so fast. Meta Rags, cute as can be. Rags was good <laughs> if you know what I mean. Summer Heat. Boy and rags meet. Boy, oh, those summer nights. Fucking, uh, Greece, right? Yes, that is Greece. Springy, defend the common Zuma man among us. What? I don't know. I don't understand. Defend the common Zuma man. I'm sure there are aspects of Zuma culture that are worthwhile. I just, yeah. <laughs> Uh, how the Halo TV series should end. Chief takes off his helmet and gets shot in the head by a jackal sniper. Blood eat the humans, Earth gets glassed, and the Covenant girl activates the Halo rings. Uh, we didn't talk about the third episode's out today. Fuck, really? Damn. Yeah, it is. Well, Moon Knight is out, and we should probably try and get on that. Yeah, I'll, um, I'm more, way more interested in watching that than I am Halo. <laughs> Well, I will still watch, I will yeah. tolerate watching Halo. I, that show bugs the hell out of me. Uh, yeah. I, you know, I was never expecting Chief to throw a man against a wall and scream, what am I? That was not something I was ever expecting to see happen. Oh, um, well. Hey, look, all right, he touched an artifact that probably has some greater utility, but also unlocks memories for some reason, and also he's the chosen one. Because it wasn't just that all humans were reclaimers, now specific people are reclaimers. That's great. Love it. Love it. Doesn't cause problems at all. Who is more and brooding? Pattinson Batman or Hamlet or John Rambo? Pattinson mm. Batman. Easy. Probably, yeah. 
um, we're gonna really, see. yes, <laughs> this happens. All right, that happens in the show. Chief talks to a guy who has inexplicable knowledge about. He says it in vague terms, but this guy who was abducted to try and see if he could interact with artifacts, he knows what the halo is. He knows that it's really valuable religiously to the Covenant. He knows a lot more than he should, and he relays a bunch of this to Chief. Uh, and then Chief touches the artifact, and he it goes floopy again, and then he screams, what am I? It's really annoying, and I hate it. The show is excellent. He, he uh, and yeah, he he spends like 95% of that episode with his helmet off. I definitely believe that the point of the first episode was just to kind of hook you in with the idea that Chief is going to be like Chief in the games, but now we've decided we're doing our own thing. We don't, we don't care. We're not this is not, we're not doing the same thing. And that's not a problem necessarily, but the show sucks. Um, which makes it really annoying that they deviated so much from the source material. I'm sure they would argue it's much more thematically suitable than that. They'd be like, no, he takes his helmet off once he starts to regain his humanity and, and remember his past. I'm sure they would say that, but I mean... Symbolic. Yeah. But, but I don't know why you take your helmet off when you're in a hostile space station filled with people who clearly don't like you. Um, is the Covenant Lady a human? Yeah, because she's another chosen one, apparently. I, I, I would not be surprised if this show, when they introduce the Flood, have the Grave Mind be like a human being, or present as a human being, because it's got to be a human. I can't relate to an alien. Um, that's not possible. Like, I don't know why everybody's so afraid of having a main character be an alien. I don't know what, I don't know what the problem is. Why can't we have a main character be a fucking alien? Why can't we have the Arbiter be our POV character within the Covenant? Which, by the way, we spend so little time on the Covenant, you'd think that they're not even a threat at all. Um, like, for reference, the first episode is is the Covenant go to a planet called Madrigal to dig up an artifact, and there are humans on it who they attack. Now, you would think, for pretty good reason, that this is a big problem if they know that there are humans on this planet, the clock is ticking. It's only a matter of time until they destroy this planet. But, I don't know, there's no acknowledgement in universe of, hmm, maybe we should declare, I don't know, winter contingency? Maybe we should start evacuating the planet? Maybe we should be sending reinforcements there to try and save that planet? But um, no, we just kind of pretend that everything is fine when everything is not fine. The Covenant have found you on this planet. The clock is ticking. I don't know, this is, this is, someone in chat has a quotation saying, Warner Brothers have reportedly hit pause on all future projects involving the Flash star Ezra Miller. Really? What does that True. mean? Is there a, you got any... Hmm. Um, yeah, apparently this is, <coughs> this is being reported by several, it's almost word for word for several different articles, but um... So what does that mean though, hitting pause, like that they're not going to be releasing the Flash? The Flash entering the Speed Force may have won a 2022 fan-voted Oscar, but Warner Brothers may be running away from its lead star, Ezra Miller. Miller, who identifies as non-binary and uses they-them pronouns, was arrested. Mark, I don't, why would you even specify that before talking about the arresting? Right. Um, after reportedly attacking karaoke bar patrons in Hawaii, they were later released on $500 bail, but received a temporary restraining order against them from a local couple March 29th. The couple claimed that Miller burst into their bedroom and threatened to bury them both. Why? You just you just wonder what and drugs. And remember, this is the second this is the second time he's gotten in legal trouble. Wasn't there a thing a, a year ago that that he got in trouble for? Oh, so wait, uh, they. Oh, sorry, <laughs> this is all so confusing. Um, I just just wonder what what were the drugs? I want to know which one. Um, yeah. <laughs> Miller allegedly stole a passport and wallet. Fucking hell. Passport and wallet. That can get you in some serious trouble. Um, mm. On March 30th, Warner Brothers and DC executives reportedly told, held an emergency meeting to discuss Miller's future with the studio ahead of the Flash premiere on in June. Uh, Miller also stars in Fantastic Beasts. Rolling Stone reported yeah. that a knowledgeable source claimed the consensus from Warner Brothers' DC meeting was to hit pause on any future projects involving Miller, including possible appearances in the DCU. Uh... Source tell IndieWire, however, that no such meeting took place. Another insider noted to Rolling Stone that Miller had frequent meltdowns during the Flash production. 
Oh. Apparently losing I'm it sure. on set with the source telling Rolling Stone that Ezra would get a thought in his head and say, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Um. Also, yeah, they're referencing how there was that video, the choking yeah, video that came out before. Uh, I think that's the one that, that I was thinking of where he got in trouble before. It was the Ku Klux Klan one. That was weird. I, I, man, like, it's, yeah, I, what is it with, like, DC that they seem to have way more trouble, like, with, with, their, with their, the actors that they have? Because Amber Heard, right, that's probably, I'm sure that's, they've had those conversations. Um, but then again, she's still part of that. She hasn't been kicked to the curb yet, so, but I guess he's gotten himself in more visible trouble here. Well, this is, yeah, I mean, like, if there's any truth to this, no wonder the fucking Snyder fans would be upset. Because that, we well, the, the, all really the threads awkward, are gone. Right because, right, because that character is the thread that connects the Snyder stuff to what they're going to be doing going forward, so... I if guess you still have is, Aquaman. <laughs> I, I guess, but I mean, yeah, I don't know. That's basically it. Oh, <laughs> I guess you have Wonder Woman too, because she was, yeah. Sure. But I mean, Wonder Woman 1984 is... If they is, lose uh, Cavill and Miller, that's... that's... Well, and, and Ben Affleck is stepping away, right? He's, well, yeah, he's, and Batman. Uh, uh, he's, he's done. Batman, Superman, and the Flash are out. Um, at least we, yeah. we have reason to believe so. So, Yeah, crazy. And of course, um, Batwoman got cancelled, I think, right? Uh, did, it, did Batwoman get cancelled? I believe so. People told me in... Uh... My stream for Lego. Ah. Batwoman news. Uh, the end of an the, era. The CW are not renewing Batwoman. Wait, it says they're not renewing it for a season three. It's got a season. Do they mean. I already got a season three. Yeah, season three is coming out. It's out, isn't it? It's done. Batwoman star Javicia Leslie reacts to fans fighting against season four cancellation. Oh, okay. That one right. season four in jeopardy. Well, because they renewed the Flash, right? That's getting like a ninth season. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. So the thing is, I I thought that they would renew Batwoman because I've never understood how it has any legs at all. You know, like it. Yes, it's terrible, and yes, it makes them no money. But like, yeah, it never did. So I don't know what difference now is. You know, like why why destroy it now? Yeah. Hmm. Well, maybe they can't continue to justify it. Uh, let's see. Batwoman. Uh, well, it, it, it doesn't say that it's cancelled yet. I guess it just hasn't been renewed yet. Maybe they're still thinking about it. Yeah, maybe it's not quite official. We'll see. Oh, by the way, plenty yeah. of EFAB Batwoman content to come, whether or not it's cancelled. You guys got it's gonna oh, be yeah, a long time. It, yeah, it just says that season four may be in jeopardy. Um, so that means there's a chance that it's... Didn't they sell the CW? Well, it wasn't at the... It's the Warner Brothers Discovery merger, right? That uh, AT&T sold Warner Brothers. Now they're merging with Discovery. I think. I think, yeah. And that's, that's causing changes, I imagine. Someone in chat said the people defending Amber were all fired today. The people at WB that were supporting her were let go. What are you talking about? Like, what, what does that know. mean? That's all Is it that... says. Hold on. Hmm. What what is this? Um, oh, it's because she's got a court case coming up, right? The uh, the defamation one, which uh, could go not in her favor, because there was one in the in the UK, but then there's another one in the United States. Um, yeah, apparently. Oh no, it's it's yeah. It says Johnny Depp Amber Heard tr trial defamation one is to air on court TV, right? That could be bad. Because there could be stuff that comes out of that <laughs> that's not good. But they've already filmed Aquaman, you know? Like, the, the, it's been made. Like, that, fil that film's coming out, and she's in it. Yeah. And people will comment this, about this what that. Because the Flash has already been shot, too. It's been delayed, but I'm pretty sure that's just for post-production. Like, that film is coming out. Um, They pushed all of them back, but you d there's no time. Like, you don't have time to reshoot a whole film. Like, um... Because... Lots of films do reshoots, but I don't know that you can just, like, shoot the whole movie again. 
just replace it ever with Danny DeVito when it's done. Oh, dude, apparently, <laughs> I said Rakita Law's going to cover the trial. Yeah, because apparently that one's going to be broadcast, the uh, the next yeah, one. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. It's, that'll it's be broadcast. That'll be something. It's going to be spicy, yeah. That's probably going to be Rittenhouse levels of like people talking about it. Uh, hmm. Probably, because I mean, that one... It's like the, remember that... Yeah. I think the the from what I understand the 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 one in the UK that he lost was against the Sun, so it was against a newspaper for the things that they said. Whereas I believe this one is about things she said about him, uh, and it's in the United States as well. So different, different, uh, yeah, di different case. It could it could go. It's hard to say, I guess, right yeah. ahead of time. But it might be that there's just a lot of bad things that get revealed as a consequence of uh, as a consequence of the case, right? Mm -hmm. That uh, don't look good for them. man. I don't know why you wouldn't just cut your losses. You know, it's like even if it costs you money to release her from a contract, it probably would be worthwhile to just do that and recast or just bring in a new character. Because like I don't know, you know, like surely, surely, however much you think you might lose in box office numbers is going to be offset you know compared to like how much it's going to cost you to just cut the contract short who knows with these deals um jack dorsey tweeted he regrets how he's contributed to the corporatized and censored modern internet environment lamented how awesome it once was did he hmm I feel like I would have heard did about he that. say that because um I think no matter how good your intentions are, you will likely fall into unfortunate levels of censorship at wow. some point if you're trying to make some form of a protected and important system. Because um, the lines keep getting blurry with different people pushing different things or when you've got millions of users, you know? Right. Because you wonder, well, like, yeah, what would Twitter look like if it had zero well. rules? I probably wouldn't exist. Um, because the, the government would have destroyed would probably, it, or, or the yeah, people probably would destroyed because it. it. It probably would. Yeah, you need you need some level of TOS if you want to exist <laughs> as a company. Um, and and of course, uh, because it's uh, a publicly traded company as well. A lot of people are saying Fortune. So is, does Fortune have no rules? I can't remember. Don't know. I guess the thing is, though, if you're Twitter and you want to scale up and you want to be this platform and you want to be publicly traded, it's like, well, you're going to have pressures from shareholders. Yeah. Um, and the pressure from shareholders is going to influence terms of service. It, it's just inevitable. There's some rules, mostly like no CP. Well, that's a good rule, but yeah, I guess um, super like... <laughs> This is the thing. It, it, it was it was going to be tough, but I'm pretty sure he's not been a fantastic like. Twitter's a fucking nightmare place, and I guess I wouldn't want to be Elon like. Elon Musk has now bought a uh, a nine point two percent stake. Uh, he's got the largest share of the company at the moment. Wait, so having nine point two, you'd think he does, because you'd be like, fucking hell, that's enormous. Jack that's Dorsey has two point five or something percent. So um, yeah, it's uh, he is the largest single stakeholder in in uh, Twitter, which means he's on the board of uh, he's on the board. So yeah, how how are we doing in terms of getting through the super chats today? <laughs> Why don't you? You could probably guess from our discussions. Uh, yeah. at least her bed isn't a plastic table. Hashtag Jared Law. Hey, Jared's yeah. bed was made of a lot more than just a plastic table. He had several things, all making it up. It was great. That one is so awkward that it's just you pooed on someone's bed. <laughs> like, <I don't... laughs> why do that? Well, I guess it'd be really angry, but I don't know. Bit weird. Bit weird. Uh, yeah. I uh, got two for rags, so I'll keep them. There is a reaction channel that I watch for TV shows because they actually emote during the episode and have like 50, uh, 30 to 50 minutes of discussion after. It's a strange um, genre, but I am aware that there is a type of reaction where it is just they express facially as best they can and they chop it up to cut to those significant parts, like usually showing a bit of context for scenes. But then, and, and 
I I feel like that's on the cusp of me wondering what exactly the content is there, but yeah, people really like to just see you reacting facially. That can be enough. It may not even be that you make any noises. Um, it's a vicarious sort of enjoyment there. So for me, it's like you've got to be careful with that in terms of stealing content. Um, but you should be okay, because if you edit the way that we do it visually, like on EFAP movies, and you're only doing that, like that's probably okay. And then especially if you have a big old discussion and stuff. Um, I just, uh, there are some other people in that genre who absolutely are uh, coasting on that genre having an audience. Uh, the thing, there are people who are shit and great for basically every genre. Mm-hmm. Don't fat otaku is going to become the shat otaku if he keeps going to that dollar meat store. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Um, funny vid Morley will like the lassen on YouTube. Hi Dev, the lassen. Never heard of it. Uh, you guys may have heard of the Simpsons, but have you heard of the Dark Simpson? Seriously, go watch his stuff. Dark Simpson. Is that like a does spooky things related to Simpsons? I doubt you'll outclass Lead Hawcastle. Nah, that is a that is a really great Doc Simpsons YouTube channel. What is this? Hello everyone. Welcome to Dark Simpsons. I make parody Simpsons videos. I Parody Simpson videos. I think I've seen that I've seen that channel. It cuts them to make them the clips darker than a uh... Okay. Oh yeah, I'll check out some of them. Um I think I've been sent them before. Uh, fun fact of the day, lesbian lizards reproduce asexually but still need stimulation, so they pair up, uh, have one pretend to be male for a minute. Hi, Dev. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, if Rag still uses the AT2020, then he has a dynamic microphone, which is very sensitive. I don't get it, man. Discord, for some reason, thinks that they should send us the signals of him clanking things together. I don't know why I would think that's voice. Yeah. Because, like, Discord updated, honestly, like, half a year ago or something, where it's, like, it got really good at stopping random sounds coming in with its, like, built-in stuff. But not for rags' dishes. For Tur whatever reason. Turning the frickin' lizards gay. Is loud soup made from rags' loud ice? I loud rags. It might be. <laughs> you know what? I'll keep that one for rags as well. He might. He might have input. Uh, bring he needs a better mic or something. Throw him some dosh. I don't think it would be the I, mic. My mic is, is good. I I don't know what whatever issues probably stem from environment and like cord or something. Because I got the twenty twenty mic. Yeah, like. Fucking with the plug, like, seems to actually, like, temporarily fix it, and then it's not here at all yeah. for a while. It's just like, so what is it? I, I don't I'm know sure. what that is, yeah. Uh, best slash worst Buffy Big Bad. Um, would that be spoilery? Well, it would be if Rags were here. Um. Oh. Right. Um. Hmm. Well, the if, are we counting Angel as well? Uh, yeah, I feel like that probably should count, right? Alright, in that case, the competition will include Adam, um, the Master. Like the worst, right? or, yeah. <laughs> I think I think Adam is worse than the Master, so... I was thinking that too, actually. Is Adam, um... is Adam bad just because he's thin, or is he inconsistent? He's just thin, right? Like sure, but the master lame was as fuck. Too, so how do we, yeah. Well, I was just thinking, like, does anybody outclass a lot of them in terms of just being a fucking idiot? Like, uh, Jasmine is terrible because, if you remember, the writers had no idea what to do with her, so they just made her, um, go, you know what, I'm just gonna kill everyone. Right. Like, what? Yeah, that's right. There's that nothing was, oh, to God, do with your plans tough. up to that point, so... I, she might be the worst, movie. actually, just going from a writing standpoint, because at least Adam and the Master... They tell you what their motivations are, and then they fulfill them. They're very shit motivations, but... That was a shit arc, yeah. So, because it's funny, because Glory, 
my criticism of her would be the same problem, but I think she's more compelling as a as an antagonist than the master item. I think so. Um, and she has a more interesting backstory. I think the whole like a god that was began getting too powerful, so the other gods betrayed her. Yeah. Um. The first is kind of an idiot a lot of the time. A bit. The kind of power the first has, and it doesn't really use it very well. Uh, but yeah, I think I, 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 if we include Angel, I'm going to go with Jasmine. I fucking I so hate that too. villain. Um, As for best. Oh, well, I was going to say, if we if... don't include Angel, then I'd probably go for... I might even go for the first. I'm not... <laughs> anyway, yeah, best is the mayor. <laughs> he wins. Though, I, well, I was saying, if we uh, include Angel, oh, you know, like if we count her, um, she's I always she's always a maybe have. on if she's counted because it's like okay. complicated. Yeah, I guess, but I mean, she doesn't quite. Hmm. Um, I get you. Um, I mean, if not, then it, yeah, may well be the mayor. I really like uh Holtz. Well, so I was going to say, our, our listing should include Angela, Spike, Holtz, Maya, and... I was yeah. just thinking, is season five... I think Lindsay should have, like, an honorable mention or something. I think so. It was pretty good. Yeah. Um... But yeah, it's... Uh, I fucking love the Maya. I enjoyed the hell out of his performance. I think he, like really helps get you into the show with the struggle that is the first two seasons. <laughs> Which is yeah. funny because you get Spike and Angelus in season two. It's just the, uh, it's the plots, I guess. Like, yeah. Well, because I love Spike in season two. He has loads of great moments. And you can tell that James Marsus is trying his ass off like to mm -hmm. get to keep this job. Keep the job. <laughs> That's right. Um, but yeah, like, one of my favorite parts in Season 7 is when the mayor talks to Faith. And it's just because that actor, Harry Groiner, I think? I, I can't remember exactly, but... Oh! It's, it's, it's not even fair. He doesn't get that much time in Season 3 as the mayor. He he comes in, like, ten episodes in properly. Yeah, that's that's right. He's, he's kind of a looming presence before that. Yeah. And Giles stabs him. Right. Someone posted a bunch of Z's. I super chat asked us. We gave an answer. Because you find Buffy boring. I guess you don't find Ezra Miller or Endgame boring. But this is it's like you selective nerd. Um, what Wolfram and Hart? I mean, it's kind of hard to place them, isn't it? It's like a. They kind of just represent evil. <laughs> um, reminder that Australia is just a test site at Area 51 for Fringy's goo. No, it's not. The Why? accent is an effect of the goo, and they're forced to pretend that they're from another country by the government. Whoa. No. It's not true. Chat says, easy, easy, you obey. What else do you do? Die? <laughs> yeah. Rags' drink is loud soup. I mean, yeah, what, he, what he said that was ice? I was like, what? <laughs> what are you doing over there that makes that sound? Uh, you need to eat out movies, Pinocchio, a true stories, English dub. It's damn. I've, I've heard about this and I've seen clips. It looks funny as hell. We may do it at some point. Who knows? Also, primal, but good. So, animal for the day is Hatsagopteryx. I can't look that up right now. I shall. I am very curious by that name. Oh. oh. Look at you. Is this a real thing or a fake thing? Uh, I'm trying to get a good image for you. Hang on. Oh, it's like a big pterodactyl. Man, that is a fucking terrifying creature, though. If you, if this Why is what it looks like. Breath. 
Also, I, I'm trying to tell the difference between like a, a an accurate representation or just someone making some fan art because some of it's like absurd. It's like it's got like a, a brontosaurus in its mouth, and it's like I don't think it would be that big. So, which of these is accurate? Maybe this thing is made up. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna assume this is this is the uh, the creature. All right, they compared it to a giraffe. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that thing. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, great. Now everyone's going to ask me to put it on screen. Hey, all of you. But it's a all fair right, request. There you go. I don't know if this is accurate or not, okay? It's whatever this thing is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, please don't ban Zomas. I like living. Don't worry. We allowed Zoomers to be in the chat. We allow your existence. A molar came upon the denims, and now it's just rags and has to be stitched together. But the edges are all fringy. Oh, I get it. Oh, boy. Come on, she seriously stole from Skal? Skull? Skull? Uh, um... Oh, is that the channel name, maybe? Hmm. It could have been the person that she played, like, the fucking 15-minute video. Ugh. On the very streams that she is like, yes, that's an immoral act. It's I agree. pretty bad, yeah. <laughs> and then proceeds to make a video. This is like... It's such a, a thing of, like... It is bad, and there isn't an excuse. I'm simply explaining why people do it. And it's like, people... Well, you do it. And then You're, don't you feel yeah. a little weird to be like, this is a morally bad action that I do. Your condemnation doesn't mean a lot, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Uh, hey, just wanted to say thanks to the last stream. It was a great time laughing about upside down poop closets after a bad week. Hey, I'm glad you had some yeah. fun. We're, uh, that, that trilogy coming to an end this weekend. Hey, Rax, yeah. Scal Scalagrim is on EFAP. Oh, yeah, we, we, it was a Scalagrim clip, so. The crossover. It is a kid. Um, I hate Hassan and these Twitch streamers almost as much as I hate FDR, the worst president in American history. That feels like you just. That was just your way of saying that you don't like FDR, <laughs> really. <laughs> or that they make you any observation relating to. You know. The, it reminds me of the whole, like, oh, yeah, I, I really hated Boba Fett and how it tries to have these two characters, like, in a, a like, a, a relationship, you know, Fennec and him, like, some kind of friendship, relationship, loyalty. If you want to see this done well, there's a guy and a girl who get into a relationship in this anime called blah, 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 blah. I think you guys like it, and it's kind of like, you know, it just does, it does, it does this, but, but better. And you're like, does it actually have anything to do with this? And you're like, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch the anime, yeah. damn it. Uh, hi, Rags. Do you... Oh, well, we'll keep that one for... Yeah. Bringy, six months ago, I sent you a series of super chats asking you to give your opinion on my anime body pillow collection, which I spent thousands of dollars on and you refused to answer. So I ask, what is your opinion on it? I... I have no idea... Well, any of this. <laughs> this is all just, yeah. Uh, the pillows even have silicon inserts based, huh? What's the next super chat? Yeah, I can read the next one. Longest man, any thought of making an unbridled video about a video game? For example, Soma. I kind of did. Uh, that series is basically me talking about how good things are in the Doctor Sent and Soma. And then right. being angry at people reviewing them both wrong. Man, I still feel so bad for Soma. It got such bad reviews. From so many people. And yet, anybody who, like, talks about it these days, nobody says anything less than Soma was good. So what happens? It's like fucking <laughs> Blade Runner, where, like, it just came out to the wrong audience at the wrong time. Except me. Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> I was like, woohoo! <laughs> 
but uh, uh yeah Lowe's, the first, it was like Bly Manor I think I even said Bly Manor is the TV show version of Soma um everyone's saying like yeah but it wasn't scary it's like can we talk about what and it then, executed please but then yeah uh. Soma isn't a horror game yeah okay Um, well, that was for ranks as well. If you had to pick a religious branch or sect to form a unified theocracy on Mars, which one would you pick? I have no idea. Buddhism. I don't know enough about all of them. Yeah, probably Buddhism, actually, if it was one. I guess if we're going super broad. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to try and opt for the one that has the least sort of horrible repercussions based on what we understand in history, if there is one. I don't know. I understand Fringy is a bird and needs to do birdy things, but he needs to stop hitting my car with poop. Just because my car is black I... doesn't mean it's racist. Uh, I... Why, 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 would you, why must you spread such lies? Such filthy lies. If you don't want me to steal from you, just arrest me, bro. Gotta love these big brain arguments. It's... Yeah. Just DMCA them, god. Uh, love you guys. Hi, Rags. S class is best class. Be an Adam and Sitch thing. Yes, officer. I know I ran a red light. So what? Just give me a ticket and my parents can pay the fine. Denims, probably. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny, because I can believe that that's true. Yep. Um, lap pocket in my snack pocket. My computer is Jean. Um, I got nothing for that one. Yeah, I can't help you with that one. Oh. It really demoralizes me that I put hours into my content and someone can just steal it because it's React content on Twitch. Mate, it's filler content, all right? It's filler, yeah. You exist for when I need to go take a poop. That's, that's as, yep. as they would say. That is so crap. It's extremely crap, yeah. Uh, Dev, I know you're an atheist, but have you considered joining Donism? The Don is a great and generous being. 90% of donations to the Church of Don go to the Orphan Fund. Don't ask about the other 10. Oh, no. He, he, he's putting it to his space program. The Don is trying to get us out of Earth before it explodes from the evil bats that live in the core of the Earth. It's this whole thing. He goes through it in the book. Yeah. Uh, Shiba dog dressed in a traditional outfit waving Japanese fans. Alright. <laughs> oh, this is what someone was trying to clarify when we were talking about it. So, alphabet equals character equals sound. Logograph equals symbol equals syllable. Pictograph equals symbol equals word. And the only pictographic okay. language is Aztec. Right. So the Egyptian stuff isn't pictographs then, that's uh... Were they saying hieroglyphics? I can't remember how it's classified. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, there's another one for Rex. When I hear Twitch culture, I see a Petri dish full of bacteria in my mind. It's so unfortunate, though. Like, you know, like, there's no reason why they should be more representative exactly. of it than metal. Yeah. But I guess that's how it's treated? Because it, if you only watch them lot, then you probably would be like, this is Twitch. And it's like, it's actually not. This is a terribly small part of Twitch. Choose those words on purpose, because, like, god damn it, man. Twitch is... It, I almost want to catch myself from saying it used to be so much better. It's like, well, there's still people doing the, the right thing on there. Exactly. I think they slipped into it, right? Because, like, you'd just be gaming... And it's essentially react content constantly. What all of us are doing. What are we reacting mm -hmm. to? Right now, you and I are reacting to messages. Like, you want to get to that and level of broadness. Sort of, yeah. And so you're reacting to, like, Elden Ring. You're like, look at this boss... Can you kill him? React. Because obviously if someone just stone-faced stared at the screen and played pretty averagely, I don't think people would stay. Um, so, no. you have all these creators who've learned all that shit, 
and then aspiring ones, and then you'll just have ones who are like, um, man, I'd love to watch that YouTube video today, but I got a stream. It's like, wait, could I, could I just watch it on stream? Probably. I mean, it's pretty interesting. And, you know, they watch some maybe new internet historian video, and they comment on it as they go through it, and they're just like, yeah, I did it. Hey, maybe I should do this more, because that's technically what EFAP is. Like, um, yeah. we've explained before that this was something that we were doing anyway, a lot of us. We'd just be like, there's this new YouTube video from blah blah blah. Like, I want to see Joseph Anderson's video on Elden Ring. He's putting it out, um, I think soon, and it's called A Shattered Masterpiece. Oh boy. And so it's like, ooh, maybe he'll have the hot take I'm looking for. Like, I don't know yet. Um, I'm probably going to watch it with, like, Theo and Fortier and Metal, because we're all very invested in this, this, the, the history of Dark Souls, and Joseph Anderson has played the fuck out of all of them. So, who knows what he'll say. But the thing is, that's not one I think EFAP would work for, because we're mainly going to be watching it. Exactly, there'll be some videos where it's just watching instead of talking. Um, we could definitely make it work, and by that I just mean write a comment where it's good, where it's bad and stuff, but I just, I wouldn't want to, I'd just be like, no, I'd rather just be chill watching that one. And we'll probably mention what we thought of the video on an I EFAP episode. That might, that might well be the problem with the streamers, right, if they spend pretty much, I guess it's funny because well, it's a criticism that EFAP gets, even though it's once a week, but like, for a lot of these guys, it is, what, seven or eight hours a day all the time, you know, every which day. Which is their choice to make. It is their choice to make, but, yeah. Um, and the, 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 where I was going with that was, you know, we see a 10 minute video that's like, fucking Marcus, he was super racist and that's why he didn't kill Caitlyn. It's like, alright, let's cover this on EFAP, holy fuck. Um, or the Vietnamese were aliens, you know, just like all this, these kinds of videos were just like, yeah, this would be great. But then the, with, with the videos that I just enjoy and watch, that's that, it doesn't come on. I just don't think they do draw a difference. And so, yeah, like it could, you know, to be fair to Denims, uh, she transformed Jay's video in her stream. She did. <laughs> mm -hmm. How much it value and insight you can get out of it valuable. is not. Yeah. That's something that Irrelevant angrily said at one point to Jay when Jay was like, I don't understand uh, the joke that Hassan was making. Irrelevant was like, it doesn't matter if you don't understand it, it's there. And that means the content's being transformed. Missing, of course, that Jay. It's just talking about how he didn't get the joke, that's it. It's like a yeah. meta comment almost. But he's right in the sense that, yeah, as long as you're transforming, even if you make the worst jokes ever, or if you make the worst analysis, like, you know, ASDF movies animation is really bad because the creator doesn't know how to use a pen or something. You should be like, okay. Yeah. Um, but at least, you know, yeah. And um, I think they would, they would, they're, they're perfectly capable of doing that, all of them. Um, but sometimes there's just videos where they just don't give a fuck and they let the whole thing play and they're like, huh, oh, that was that. Next one. And they just didn't care to notice when they, uh, they did the bad stuff until they piss off the yeah. wrong person, I guess. Uh, Dev trained hard in the ER school of EFAP appearances, I see. Talking way too much. I mean,. Oh, do they mean, because they got Kappa. I mean, he talked, like, a decent chunk. He wasn't, like, silent. Mm -hmm. Um, everyone, the sky is blue. Some people, wrong. Like I said, it's, uh, the example Rags was given, but just with the qualifier, when you do the, you know, the, the, this is X, Y, and Z, and you go, no, it's only X, and they go, yeah, 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 X, Y, Z, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like, stop it. Stop it. Get help. Um, Ra, come back. We need you now more than ever. Oh, no. Was it break your legs, Ra? He would never do that. Ra's a saint. Nah. I... Should be edited. Why, I bet Jay even redrafted. His work is such gold tier, S tier, top draw content. Even still, kick Jay. Yeah, she said she said that at one point. Like this should have been edited about Jay's video. It's like, um, <laughs> yes, it's definitely not edited. Hello, Ewoks. Have a massive day, and Don bless you. Thank you very much. So, what about Pork is streaming movies in Discord? So that's interesting. If you share movies. 
that's definitely illegal um, to do it that way. As for whether it's unethical, that's going to be much more down to your specific ways, like your specific moral system. Because he's not going to be making money from it, presumably. And it's just sharing an experience with some friends privately, so it's similar to having someone over your house and showing them a movie, which I don't think any of us are going to claim that's unethical. So mm -hmm. it gets a little complex at that point. Because um, I'm assuming everyone here, when they were younger, or at least a lot of people here when they were younger, uh, borrowed games off their friends or lent them to friends. Should that be... The, is that... What's the legal thing on that? Is there a thing on that for legally? Not that I'm aware of. Don't see why there would be, that you can, what, share video games with your friends. Yeah, like, I'd be curious what a dev would have to say about it, or a publisher, or whatever. Well, I mean... Definitely the industry doesn't like used games because any time that used games are sold, that's like, that's well, just so not, revenue that you don't capture. I was specifically talking about, I play a game, I like it, and then I go, you should play it, and then you're like, I can't afford it. And I go, oh, uh, play, play my version. And then I do. Would they see that event as like, no, Bringy has to buy it. I don't see how they could at your property. You're not copying it or anything, you're just letting someone else use it. <laughs> like, that's, you're allowed to do that. But I'm obviously you can expand it, can't you? Like, like, could yeah. I then lend it to literally everybody on planet Earth and no one else buys it and everyone loved it? I mean, I don't see how they could stop you from doing that. It's not about whether or not they can stop me, it's just whether or not they consider that unethical. Oh, I mean, well, like I said, that was the thing with used games, right? It was part of the reason why the Xbox One was what it was. It's because used games are really bad for the industry. Um, that's revenue that is lost to uh, developers and publishers um and i remember that was that's that's what gamestop and like eb games do they encourage they want used games because they make more money selling used games but it's bad for the industry elden ring eula specifically contains that you must also own the pc that runs it interesting because of course i can have a friend uh, over and they just because pc games you can't hand over to somebody else if it's digital and stuff but you can have them come over your house and play on your pc Hmm. There's quite a bit of back and forth that happens there in terms of... And I think this is why when you get down to that level, it's going to be individuals. I could totally see someone in my sphere of influence that says you shouldn't go, like, you know, 100 people a movie you bought because at that point, too much. But just showing a friend is okay. And it's like, think about it, why is that okay? It's, uh... I think everyone's going to draw the line at some point, some level of people yeah um but when you do stuff like what denims that or whoever else just outright stealing someone else's work and then making money off it yourself because that was the other thing that really i do think is an important element of all of this they make money by using your content yeah. um yeah. meanwhile when you show a friend a game or a movie over your house like you're not making money from that you're just having some fun um mm -hmm. Unless, of course, you charge your friend to be able to play it. Uh, <laughs> which means you just have shitty friends, I don't know. I'm going to show everyone in Times Square Toy Story, since a lot of people will see it. It's okay. Wait, why am I being arrested? Yeah. <laughs> it's transformative. There's loads of people here. Lots of people are watching it. That's true. It's transformative, exactly. Uh, want to watch with a streamer? Do a watch along. Everyone gets the video directly, timestamp when to start, watch off screen, comment on stream, fair. If they did it this way, if they said, here is the link, everyone set it up in, or jump into what? I was about to say, cause you can't really pause at that point, but if, if Hassan took the time to basically be like, everybody click this link now, and uh, give it a like, because this video is fucking amazing. Oh, I wonder if that counts as brigading, it's just positive group brigading. I, I, hmm, I never thought of that. Yeah, because like, uh, you wouldn't catch the creators complaining about that, but you might catch the platform being like, you can't brigade. Um, I don't know, but yeah, there, there is obviously things that could have been done to make this better. I, I, I think it's been said before, had Hassan given Jay proper credit, I don't think any of this would have happened. No, probably wouldn't have. Jay would have said, in a call with us, his reaction was shit. Um, but I mean, he did credit me, so... 
And then we would probably be like, but, mm. but that's not what happened. Nope. Everybody lost their minds. This is what I mean, man. He like recants the situation as like, oh yeah, I was eating food, so I forgot to do the regular crediting things. Like, no, you literally were there and you prevented it from yeah. happening. <laughs> you hurry in a very hurried it's such manner. A, it's that Cartman God. shit again, where they just they just imagine a history that better suits them. I slayed the dragon. It's like, no, you fucking didn't. My previous super chat aged poorly. Oh, I'm not sure. Uh... Which one, I'm afraid. Um, have you seen Train to Christmas? Time travel movie, good production, but writer didn't notice he had Michael Sheen abort five kids. I keep thinking about it. Help. Uh, um, no, I don't know anything about that, but that, that that's quite a mistake to make, I suppose. Ooh. Congrats on getting your first VTuber on stream. The dev? What? <laughs> or Sitch? I don't know. I don't know which one of them has oh. ever done like an animated a what Avatar thing. Video or, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't react, Jinx. You're perfect. That is definitely how it went. Uh, Denims could lose a game of Connect Four even if you let her have the first five moves. Absolute brain rotted moron. She, she, <laughs> we're definitely into the parts where they've seen a lot from Denims at this point. <laughs> That's a funny way to describe it. If you gave them five moves of Connect Four, <laughs> <laughs> I think that is amusing too. <laughs> uh, Studying psychology, and this that stat is akin to the one in five college campus study. Single study, awful methodology. It's so funny when you just... I think you just automatically believe stuff when it's a study. Like, do you remember the... Yeah. Or polling and stuff, when it was like... Matt Jabba was like, people actually loved, typically loved, the season eight Game of Thrones finale, so... You know, shut up, everybody. And then mm -hmm. uh, we went into the numbers of it, and it was like... Uh, sixty percent said they didn't even know what Game of Thrones was. Well, yeah, because it's it's uh it's a thing with studies is just because it's a study, um that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. It could be a bad study, it could be a really good study, and then there's there's a difference between like a meta analysis and a um or twin and it depends study. On how long? Well, because I remember I learned about this. I can't remember if it was at school or at uni about um just sort of a. The amount of people that you need as a sample to be uh, statistically an accurate representation of broader society, and that it gets really complicated. Um, so, like when you see a, a two party preferred opinion poll, because we see plenty of those here in Australia, they'll be like two party preferred. It's like, so this is a pretty, this is not a good statistic. Um, it's usually a thousand people, it's over the phone, which means they need to be at home. It's by landlines, I believe, so it's just way more likely you're going to get older people. Um, Two-party preferred is not a good representation of how the votes are actually distributed because we don't... We have a parliamentary system, so you're going to be voting based on your electorate that makes it not... And prefer, preferred prime minister, it's like, that doesn't really... That doesn't... I don't know what that means in terms of a, what it tells me. Um, so yeah, it is, it's, and, and those are just surveys and then, yeah, it's, it's, it's complicated. You can have good studies and bad studies. You can have good polls and bad polls. Yeah. That, um, that Game of Thrones one, I think it said, like, they asked a selection of 600 people or something. Like, Jesus, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> like, 600, that's like, mm, and I might be over-exaggerating, it could have been 60 or something. I can't remember, we were just, like, blown away by how crap the study was. It, well, well, polling, I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, most people will believe something if it says study says study says. Well, it's um, it's. I think one of the things that because I I there are a lot of things that get reported on the news and they'll say it's a study, but it came from a think tank, like it came from a partisan political think tank, and the information itself is like thin or just bullshit, but. It came from a think tank, it's called a study, and then it gets reported on as if it's, like, fact. And then that seeps into the public consciousness. I still know people who believe 
there was a, I think there was a study or something that happened in like the eighties or nineties that said that living next to those big power lines gives you leukemia. Pretty sure that's just not true at all, but a lot of people still think it because it got reported on. Like it was a study that came out. It was news. It was really good in terms of being catchy for the news. It got reported on. It's not true, but people still think it because it was reported on the news and it was a study, even though none of those people have like read the study. I mean, I guess that's the point, right? You trust the news is going to tell you the truth um, or not misrepresent anything, but, you know. Well, that's the thing. You know, like, someone saying they're going to pause Ezra Miller or whatever, and then I Google it, and I see there's a couple of articles. Yeah. I just, like, I just believe that that's very likely true, but then you look into the articles, and it's like it's a rumor from someone who's a source for one of these people, and then you try and dig into it, and you might find that it's literally made up by some Reddit comment. Oh, yeah, and Jay's pointed out that, yeah, vaccines give you autism, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty clear example of that one, isn't it? Of that just, was, like, that's a crazy fucking study. video. Yeah, H Bomber Guy's video was super interesting. I didn't know any of that. What, like, that is... Oh, hey, what about that is Kimber, and, Kimber and Lion King as well? Well, that's another one that just sort of spreads around, and and hey, I mean, I guess we'll be talking about one of those ones uh, on a on EFAP this uh this this week. Yeah, of just a thing that goes around that well, like nobody enough, looks into. The guest will be somebody who kind of, I mean, that's how that's why I talked to him in the first place. Was being like, you've heard X. I'd like to. Know. It's funny he was talking about it on his stream. And the way he phrased what I asked, I was like, oh yeah, that is how I asked it. I think I said to him, I didn't say to him, I'm not anti-SJW. I asked him, what is that based on? Because, like, I think maybe an argument could be made if you take every single thing I've ever said. But at that point, it would just be like, okay, what about the rest of the stuff I've said, though? Yeah. Um, I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Because you could do it with a lot of stuff. Like, you could paint me as a any particular thing if you take the right quotes, but, um... Fuck but me. you can do that to anybody. You could, you could make any... You can make Hassan look, uh, like a very particular Hyper-capitalist. <laughs> yeah, um, Dude, just take, it, take him quote Andrew Wright and be like, <laughs> this guy, you Well, know? just have him keep hating your life then, working class Andy. Hmm, that's a weird thing to say when you're... You, yeah. You're, you're hip with the... You're down and hip with the struggle, you know? Yeah, it's not, it's not a secret it's, it's or anything. I think it's just because it's easier to uh, write people off when you cast them with a particular label. It's like, oh, well, you must be necessarily an idiot or immoral. See ya. Um, the main problem with Hitler. Fuck me. You'll be seeing that quote on Saturday as well. But yeah, the guest is uh, Chud Logic. It's not a secret or anything. But also, short Fadotaku and Sage. Who knows what'll happen? Um, since Rags mentioned it for Denim, Springy and Sitch say like as a pause frequently. This isn't a gotcha, but I figured you'd want to know. Yeah, I I know. I'm I'm working on it. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like everybody does. Uh, A lot of people do it at this stage, but I'm working on it. Frequency it's obviously will change, thing. but and yeah, your awareness of it will definitely change how much you say it because you'll just be like, eh. Yeah. You know is another one too. Yeah. Yeah, and it's you annoying. eventually start to do the whole pause instead of saying anything at all, because you're like, I don't need to say anything. Um, though we've gone over this before actually. We 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 need some words to act as bridges because otherwise it'll signal to the other people on the cast that there's a space to talk and you don't want to do that sometimes. You're like, wait, 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 I'm almost done. Gotta say words. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. There's a condition where a person cannot see 3D objects if they are drawn on a screen. They only see lines. I think that's interesting. Huh. That is interesting. Uh, this thought discussion is really interesting since I have ADHD and I usually have three or four sets of monologues and pictures at once. Damn. That sounds like... How do you make sense of it? If you have three or four voices, you know? Yeah. Um, Fringy, I must confess that I wrote an essay on 12 Angry Men for college and I may have taken direct lines from your video without crediting you. Uh, I, it's, it's not a big deal. <laughs> how about I give you this $20 as an apology and we just forget about all of it? 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't care. I guess it's. I like that though. You're just trying to bribe me. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I guess it's more for your sake though that you'll benefit from uh from from uh working on expressing it in your own words. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's cool to hear that you've been inspiring enough to to have people. Yeah, that's use cool. Use it in something a lot more of an official capacity. Um, but it would be especially cool if you cited you and had a little hyperlink. <laughs> Gee, could you imagine? It was a YouTuber. Friggy. Friggy said this. Um, another thing, by the way, that all the fucking time was literally... I That has definitely mm. partially infected me, uh, listening to so I many people use that word all the time. To, yeah, It's hard for it not to seep in, which is frustrating because it's absolutely it is painful. The, it is, it's, it is its antonym when everybody uses it like that. And I think we all know the truth. It's just a filler word to try and make it sound more punchy. That's it. Yeah, but you can say figuratively, it exists, all right? The words exist. It doesn't that you sound want. anywhere near as good, does it? If you go, that is figuratively what happened. You'll be like, wait, why did you say that? So it's not what happened? Yeah, it's, it, yes, that is what it means for something <laughs> to be figurative. Yes. I mean what I'm saying, all right? Yeah. Uh, Lord Moller, have you considered doing a long snack? Louis Yosa Anaconda. It would be an EFAB for the ages. We could do Anaconda at some point, sure. Also, high battle. Scritches for the good boy. Aw, oh, scritches for battle. How nice. Lord Moller, have you considered doing long croc? Steve Biders Lake Placid. It'll be an EFAB for the ages. Also, high baller scratches for the good boy. I remember Lake Placid, but I haven't seen that in like twenty years. So it'll be interesting to watch again. And it's the kind of movie I like to watch from that era because you find loads of famous people are in it because they're all is before a lot of them became more famous. Mm -hmm. My English professor has a colleague who said he doesn't see images in his mind when he is reading. Hmm. Huh. That sounds like it would be quite the important aspect of consuming something like literature when it's a novel, yeah, fictitious, and it's taking so much time to describe something and you can't picture it. But I suppose not being able to picture it doesn't mean you can't appreciate it. No, because uh, you could, yeah, because you could appreciate the prose and everything. The only React stuff I even look at are the Corridor Digital guys and the me Metal Guitarist, and both of them actually comment slash add their own insight, like the Guitarist adds his own version over it. Well, cool. Good stuff. I'm sure they would do it ethically, because they, uh, they're on YouTube, and YouTube basically forces you to be ethically transformative. Kind of, yeah. Like, over the top, you know? Because, like, if someone had, let's say, played a a minute scene from a movie, and then it's half an hour of talking about it. I think that should be fine, but YouTube would not consider it fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Vosh was right. Women need to be more quiet. Oh no! Look, just some women, okay, and some men. There's a lot of stupid people out there. We'll teach. We'll teach you all about it on Saturday. Uh, hello, Fringy and Rag. Hey. As my dad always says, you can you can't take your money when you're gone. That's true. I guess referring to working, because yeah. Defo. Keep up the streams. I work ten hours a day welding, and you guys are the only podcast I can find that usually goes for most, if not the entire shift. Thanks for killing the boredom. Yoinky shbloinky. <laughs> okay. Um I've just seen this on Twitter. This is an article. Uh, J.K. Rowling is right. Woke men are ruining beards for the rest of us. Not long ago, facial hair was all but ubiquitous. Now, innocent men risk being mistaken for insufferable left-wing beards. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Is that a meme or is that real? That sounds like an April Fool's article. That would be great if it was. April 5th. So it's not. I just love the idea. It's like innocent men will be mistaken for political commentators. <laughs> They've ruined the beard. 
Um, but yeah, it's good to hear that we would be distracting enough for a, a, a welding. I, I, I was thinking about, like, is there a danger in listening to a podcast while welding? Do you need to be aware of sounds when welding, or is it mainly just visual? Get all the sparks and stuff. But, um, yeah, man, that sounds pretty cool, though. Welding. I don't know what you weld, but I'm already picturing, like, a guy in a suit with a big torch welding shit, and then saying yoinky sploinky. Uh, if you have a problem with me reacting to your content, it's your job to tell me, but don't dare me ask me to ask other for permission. Yeah, it's, uh, that's the line. Uh, apparently Twitter's working on an edit button, finally. Uh, I thought that was like a meme, is that true? Yeah, is it a meme, or is it, is, is it not true? Don't tell me this is a meme, is it? I don't know. Oh, it is a meme. Yeah, because it's April 1st. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, whatever. <laughs> oh, wait, is it true? I, uh, I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know what to think no more, man. I don't know what to think no more, man. Get out of my head. Get out of my head, man. You're in my head, man. <laughs> um, look up Halo Bollywood, the only true adaptation. All right. Uh, also high rags, scritches for the good boy. Mola, you're gay. Thank you very much. Un secondo. My teachers straight up encouraged that wiki, that wiki method rags. Oh, there you go. Actually, keep that one for rags. I remember a famous anti-joke where a comedian just went on stage and ate a bowl of ice cream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounds really funny as a, as a statement. I don't know how funny it would be, though, to watch. The only problem with a joke like that is, like, how much time is that going to take for me being able to listen to your many good jokes that I like you for, instead of that yeah. one joke, which would be funny, but yeah. Well, funny for a whole hour, you know? Would it, you know, would it out say it's welcome? That reminds me of uh, something I remember hearing about. Maybe someone in chat will actually know what it was. That an acclaimed musician, I think a pianist, um, he he set up a concert where he was going to play some music, uh, but there were a bunch of microphones set up in the uh, auditorium or the theater, um, and he just sat there and didn't play anything, and he just recorded all of the people increasingly getting agitated and then s screaming at him and yelling at him, and that that was like the that was what he wanted. He was there to capture. Uh, this steady increase in the sort of viciousness of the crowd because he didn't play anything, um, and then he got up and left. Damn. I don't know what what that was. Well, did they um, pay to be there? Because, I mean, they're just going to be pissed. Yeah, I think I think they did pay to be there. Wow, because he was an acclaimed pianist, right? He was, uh, he, he was, he was really good at it. Um, I don't, damn, I don't know who it was. Um, I figure someone in chat might know. 433 by John Cage? Wait, is that... Is that what it is? Hold on. Probably be on YouTube, right? Maybe? No? Was it recorded? Wow. In that way? Wow. I... Man. So... Google... I typed in 4 and it recommended 433. <laughs> Do you remember how we're talking about these uncanny things? Gary. I don't know if that's it. Um, I'm not sure. And, and in case, let's press on. Denim's Woman of Steel. Ho ho! Nicely done. Uh. Anti-joke. What's red and invisible? No tomato. Red and invisible. Yeah, because tomatoes are red. It's like, there's no tomato there. Or it's red and invisible. Ah, 
like I uh, see. Anti joke. Uh, don't worry, Fringy. This is the content I come for. I'm not even. Uh, it's probably the discussion on anti humor. I guess I don't know. Maybe. Dev, that sort of humor proves you're a bad person. That could have been about anything he said. Um, hear about what's going on with Bruce Willis? Don't know if you meant that yeah, as a bit of a joke, because you said hear about it, but yes, I have heard about it. Um, unfortunate, yeah. and you wish there were better ways of him making a rush to make money than doing that, but... But, you know, it's, yeah, you just gotta, it's, it's something, it really sucks. That was about him liking one of Denim's jokes? Ah, oh, that explains it. Um, but yeah, for those who don't know, Bruce Willis has like a particular form of brain damage or, or a brain related illness of some kind that makes it so that his memory is yeah. not good and is it understanding of language is compromised as well? Something like that. I think so. So, um, so aph retiring. aphasia, yeah. Unfortunate, but that explains apparently why he's been making so many shit films so quickly is to just get the money and uh, retire soon. Or he might have retired already, I can't remember if it's what they said. Aphasia typically makes you speak nonsense. That fucking sucks, man. Damn. I hate these kinds of things. Like, yeah, these ones really suck in terms of just the idea that it's, it's erasing, you know, you, you aspects yeah. of you. Uh, Will Smith began as a rapper, he ended as a slapper. It, it, dude, give it, you know, however many months, and it'll be interesting to know what the ultimate damage is, because it's just been increasing as days go by. Like, the first day it was whether or not he should have been escorted out. Second yeah. day is, like, whether or not he should be removed from the Academy. Third day is, like, should he have lost the Oscar and be removed from the academy, never to fucking blah blah blah, and then it's like, the next day, it's like, should he even be allowed in movies anymore? It's like, whoa. And then it's like, his talent agency are gonna drop him, uh, his movies that were lined up are like, being dropped, it's just like, damn man, this slap has had a fucking consequence. Yeah. Which was the thing I wanted, I just, I don't know that it should prevent him from ever being in a movie, I just wanted yeah, it to... Yeah. I just wanted it to, to have the consequences it should have for Code of Conduct for the Oscars, whatever that is. As well as, obviously, being condemned in general, but a lot of fucking idiots being like, Hey, hey it was funny to see someone get slapped, though. <sighs> yeah. Uh, you missed the big brain take in chat on Tuesday that was, uh, Big Pharma because a new alopecia medicine is coming out. <laughs> Wait, like, Big Pharma orchestrated it? Um... Also, can't write the C or R word here, so I came up with red tards for bread tube. Red tards? Um, most of that's only debated, though. Very little has actually happened. The fact that it's being discussed has got to be stressful yeah. as fuck for Will Smith right now. I and imagine. If someone was like, yeah, well, he brought it on himself. It's like, again, I don't know that you should be erased from, like, being able to make movies. I don't know if that should ever be on the table from a slap. I, I don't know. What is even, like... What's the worst you can get for slapping somebody in terms of, like, an assault charge? I... I it depends. Obviously, it depends on, like... Yeah, in what country as well, but, like, surely you're not getting... On why you did it. Dep I mean, it's... It, it's, uh... It, it's, it's probably... It wouldn't be, like, a bunch. It, I mean... Probably you wouldn't go to jail for it. It's a bit, it's yeah. I don't know. I I can't I can't say. Like I really can't say. I don't know. Not assault is battery. Didn't um. Uh, it's, it depends on. So, so um, I think it depends on which country we're in because battery is uh. So like for instance, in torts in Australia, battery is physical contact, and assault is actually apprehension. If I remember correctly, assault is apprehension of harm. So, like, if you reel a punch, it's, you know, if you fake a punch, like, you could actually get in trouble for that. Um, yeah, because they called it tour. assault when you touched Captain Marvel's map, and it's just like, I guess in the fucking most backward-ass legal system with the best law in the Sorry. world, you might be able to get assault on that. Well, so the, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, I think it's because colloquially, assault is considered, 
it, yeah. it, it's, it's, it's it depends on torts and, and whether we're talking about criminal as well. It's yeah, and then there's different categories of like aggravated assaults and yeah, and it depends on which co- country you're in, which state. Yeah, I I couldn't tell you. I d- I doubt that he would get any serious legal repercussions, um, for it. But I mean, it's still right. It was broadcast to the world. Um. Yeah. Uh, Mola doesn't care about bad boys. He only cares about good boys. True. When's Good Boys the movie coming out? Starring. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be Will Smith. <laughs> oh no, not eight hours a day. That's definitely not standard work schedule. Um, that part was just fucking odd. Like, doing your best to advocate that you should be able to stop working if you've worked for a while and still be paid for it or something. It's just like, uh. What? These people haven't worked a day in their lives. It's possible. Some of them went straight from like high school into streaming. It's possible. Um, sometimes it's, it is weird, right? Because like I had a lot of retail experiences, and you kind of sometimes just be like, everyone had that, right? That phase, everyone, everyone did. And it's like no, some people but really some didn't. People Um, her chat literally says to throw up the BRB screen. There are some people in her chat who have brains. There are some people in Hassan's chat who have brains. Uh, they exist. They're out there. And they're struggling. Emblematic of the state of Twitch uses others' content. The worst part is they think they influence the world. Hey man, they do to a degree. Like, Hassan got fucking AOC on his stream. Yeah, it's, uh, there's, mad. there's a level of influence there, and it's that's why it's so unfortunate in a lot of ways. I went straight into YouTube from school. See, Jay is a horrible piece of shit. Like that's it's true. Jay always says such awful things about the working class. How you know? Because Jay never worked in a toy store that was a nightmare. Jay bad. I worked four ten-hour days at Amazon. Jeez, that sounds like fun. I can't remember the longest shift I've ever worked, but I know I did a 12-hour one. And then when I've I got home, hours, yeah. they called me and said they wanted me to do another one. And um, uh, when my mum knew that that was a potential, she was just like, if you don't refuse, I am going to force you. I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> <I'll> refuse. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I've done 12 hours back-to-back -back before. Just um, Christmas. The kind of shit where when you need money, you're like, well. Uh, tip culture is bad, is a streamer. I don't remember the tip culture conversation. Can't join remember, us. No. Join us, Kyle. Join us. Yeah, there, there was a Kyle in the chat that had a good take, I think. On her side. Is Rags dead or what? Um, I think he might actually get here at any moment. Mm-hmm. Oh. Any moment. My favorite anti-joke. Why did Princess Diana cross the road? Because she didn't wear a seatbelt. Oh. That just sounds like a regular joke. That doesn't seem like an anti-joke to me. I, I guess in terms of if anti-joke means a harshness to the uh to the punchline. But I don't yeah. At that point, because that's just like Gallows humor would just be anti-jokes then, wouldn't it? Yeah. That sounds just mean. Well, edgy is the way I'd classify it, for sure. That's definitely an edgy one. Uh, I hate when these people say that streaming is hard work. Meanwhile, there are streamers like Jimmer985 who did a full production real-life sim stream where chat would control him. They aren't even doing the bare minimum. Dude, this, this is why I wanted to make sure I mentioned that like when we were talking today like there are streamers who fucking oh my god the amount of effort they put into their streams yeah this is the thing evap would downright come across as like a huge heavy effort in the opposite direction but it's like we should just be considered relatively normal if not slightly above normal effort for a reaction to a video stream it shouldn't be that we look absurd to them like look how much they pause and you're just like yeah hey, man little bit. Or like, look, they prepared content ahead of the stream. It's like, yeah. 
Yeah. You, you can do that. I, Mola, being sound mind and under no duress, must confess that I've been lying to you. And TLJ, uh, infinitely... Wait. This is and... Oh, and like TLJ infinitely more than the Lord of the Rings. Oh my. Oh boy. Well, the truth had to come yeah. out sometime. Yeah. You turned Mahler on to TLJ. <laughs> the delivery is so funny. <laughs> uh, why do you say it like that? You're with him. <laughs> it's so bad, but so good at the same time. It's great. I love it. Uh, do, do, do. Ab ab abilities epitaph lets you see into the near future with no context. Oh, right, so you got to choose between that or Heya, which is the name, I guess. If you put, like, commas on these, it will make me be able to read them way better. Uh, you have a Comes companion along. that boosts your luck, and as long as you down what it says perfectly in the immediate future, you always win. Maybe they meant write down. Hmm. Okay, so... You get to see into the future, but you have no context, or you have a companion that will boost your luck, and as long as you write down what it says perfectly in the immediate future, you will always win. Uh, still kind of lost on that. I, 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 I guess there's just more definite um, sort of use of the, of the second option, the first option... Well, with no context, right? What can I do with that information? It's a bit weird, this this choice of two. I'm going to go with the companion one, because I think there's more utility there that's solid, while looking into the future with no context sounds like... I don't know what I'm going to end up doing with that. If not, it could yeah. end up making me go nuts. Possibly. Uh, Sorry I'm late. Denim is used for polishing pads for metals. Get wrecked, whoever said it was useless. I'm like four hours behind. Shake my head. It was Sitch that kept saying <laughs> denim would be useless. And me and Rags, I think, like, specifically. I don't know why like, we there's no think way it's useless. that it's useless. Yeah, there's got to be something you can do with it. Remember during Gamergate when Short Fat Otaku pretended to be a lesbian named Camera Lady to scam nudes? Look it up. Camera Lady disappeared forever, lol. Um, I have no fucking clue. What that has camera scam? How do you scam nudes? You mean like telling people you're a lady and being like, send me nudes? I don't know. No idea. They just said denim's rubs all over metal. <laughs> he he he. Uh, Jay destroys denim like he destroys all women. Uh. That's why he's transitioning to one, because they need help so much and he feels sorry for them. I think there are plenty of talented women in the world, and that's, that's just wonderful. See, this is the thing. You cover a lady, and then you, can get, you get misogyny. Rampant misogyny. And you can't have that. I better yeah, see stop. some rampant misandry when we cover Hassan. <laughs> yep. Rag, you can't just bring Hitler into the conversation. Rags, observed. And yet. Uh, she reminds me of Pimp Butters. Know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah, she asked her chat to know what I'm saying many times. No, yeah. I think I've said that a few times today, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> glass houses, all right? Howdy, you flumps should check out Media Mana. Media Mana. He's a smaller content creator who does critique similar to you all. His critique of Book of Boba Fett is top notch. You know what's sad is I was I was I was listening to um, a bit of Short Fat Otaku talking about why Book of Boba Fett's bad, and to set it up, he was explaining like the history of Disney taking over Star Wars, and he got to Mandalorian, and he was like. Mandalorian, uh, great show, very respectful to Star Wars' lore, and it was a nice controlled story about, like, just him and stuff, and Aww. it wasn't, and I was just like, oh, we're gonna oh, have to no. tell him how wrong he is when we talk to him again on Saturday. Yeah. 
Can't be then getting away with that. Mando. Nobody says Mando season one is good, okay? That's a totally something that everyone says now is that it's bad. Everybody agreed on that, didn't they? Everyone totally did. Uh, Twitch is trash, EFAP is glory, EFAP is life. Wow. I mean, I, I, you know, there's some stuff on Twitch that's okay. Some bits. Um, are we sure we know she knows what a bad faith argument means? Um, I think so, right? If she talks about politics and philosophy and stuff, but... I um, hope so. You know. uh, Fringy identifies as a homosexual. What, what is that? I guess that you're you're a homie, but sexual. I, I have no idea, really. My guess, though. Mm. Monarchy spoons. Ah, make it stip. I think <laughs> we're gonna see a lot of make it stop soon. Yep. Mola slash EFAP panel. I will give you all my spoons. I remember the spoons thing coming up. Stealing is stealing. Wrong. Literally wrong. Oh yeah, that part was great, wasn't it? With, with Jay, like, couldn't have been more clear that she just goes wrong. Like, yeah, oh. even though it's possible to say that that's wrong. <laughs> it is uh, requirements for the conclusion of you're just, like, taking something someone else had was that you add nothing to it, and then she's like, wrong! <laughs> How did you do that? I mean, Jay, you had no chance. Uh, EFAP is going to start a meme war between Twitch and YouTube at this point. I'm building the Anderson shelter in the garden as I watch this. Um, the irony being, of course, that a lot of us create content on Twitch. <laughs> this is just like, yeah. whoops. Um, of course, friend guy would get attached to the idea of bird streamers. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. He's a bird in he's a bird infused with frog goo. No. Well, not apparently true. not. Literally any event happens. Denim's pea brain. I don't know what to think no more, man. I don't know what to think no more, man. She doesn't do that. She typically knows exactly what to think. She just changes it later, that's all. <laughs> what? That's so cringe while peeking the microphone because you're right next to it. Oh, and sort of these sort of uh, that was a dumb sentence these sort of these sort of um i woke up christmas morning and found two toilets hey that's nice yeah and and then hassan would be like well you must be a disabled man. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know why he said that and why everybody feels so compelled to defend it it's yeah. stupid just admit it's stupid. Uh, Fringy had no childhood. He had a Game Gear instead of a Game Boy. I have a Game Gear? I had the, the Game Boy Advance. Whoa. Yeah. Game Gear feels like that'd be a fun thing to get, just because it is such a rare... Kind of like, well, maybe the PS Vita will take on that in a few years, because I'm one of those. Um, yeah, yeah, I remember the PS Vita. A friend of mine had it, I never did. Yeah, well, it's because there weren't a lot of games on it, um, kind of, and it was also probably a little too expensive. It's just a shame, because that's a cool little portable, it was, uh, but now with the Switch, it's kind of like, that's, we've hit peak, right? That's, that's kind of, I don't know how you get better than that. <laughs> just scroll down. The, the, we're going to get to the point in the, the Super Chats where someone is dying from... Watching Denim's, I, it'll be funny. Uh, we're not quite there yet. She's not even wearing denim, what a hack. True. True. Nailed it right there. Um, I don't know if I can take much more of this, I just know she's gonna tweet about you guys having done a 10 hour stream on her and people will dogpile you with zero context, just like always. I'm I'm not buying this time with that shit. I'm just gonna let it go. Whatever. If they want to make their threads and stuff, it's like go ahead. There is literally no point in trying to stop it. She's already. She claimed to have harassment from Jay's stream on Twitch. Like it's, it's whatever. It's like, 
I, I almost want to be like, if someone tweets, if you tweet it at, like, at me directly, like, I have received harassment as a result of your coverage, I just want to tweet, quote tweet that and be like, I have received harassment because of this tweet. Hmm. Like, should we... Except to an extent it would be, like, because that would happen. The thing is, like, harassment's another word that's just useless now. Well, because it has a specific meaning. Legally, of course, as well. Um, but when it is you get criticized on the internet, you know, like... Yeah. Really have a more specific... Because everybody, everybody gets criticized and shit on on the internet. Like, it's, it's, just, it's kind of the nature of anonymous interactions online. Jay, get your chat under control. <laughs> They're harassing people. Um... I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Denims. No, that would be... That would be EFAB at this point, I think. <laughs> Stitch, tell him to watch Mob Psycho 100. High rags. Uh, I will keep the high rags. I've collected all of the high rags, by the way. Uh, this is a super chat reacting to a reaction of a reaction of a reaction of a video of a virtual house tour. Thank you for your time. It is cool to trace it back. It all starts with the person who had to make the house tour so that they could put the house on the market. And little did they know that by doing that, they, like, generate all these EFAP streams about us talking about transformative content. Uh, it's weird when people use the word cope as an insult. Like, the literal definition is to deal with something effectively. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's pretty funny. I haven't looked at the definition of cope Forever, because of the fact that everyone just uses it this way. Yeah, dude. The primary definition, deal effectively with something difficult. Man. So really, <laughs> coping is a virtue. Yeah, you're, like, you're just coping. You'd be like, thank you. Man, that's crazy to think, because it's, that is just not what everybody would yeah. likely say is the definition of that. Yeah, people definitely would say it's taken on a negative connotation. I think people would say coping means to, like, have actions and, and behaviors indicative of the fact that you're not dealing with the situation very well. You refuse to accept the situation as it is. Which is not the definition. That's, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Um, it's weird when people use... Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, why are we talking about Twitch? Don't you know Obi-Wan is coming out? It is coming out. How many soon. months we got? Two? Uh, it's coming out at the end of May, right? So two months? Less than two months, I guess. Fucking hell, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way to know these people understand what they're doing isn't transformative is that instead of reacting to the latest Marvel movie, they choose to eat to content from someone without a legal team. Absolutely. The, they, <laughs> yeah. I think they would admit to this. They would be like, yeah, we're going to do it to the things that don't get us in fucking TOS trouble. Yeah, so we, we're punching down in a sense, you know, which, uh, that's, you're not meant to do that. Man, down with the struggle of the proletariat, huh? It's just, it's just fascinating because I, I think you could get them to admit it and then they'd be like, huh, that's kind of, kind of a dick thing to do, isn't it? And you're like, yeah, kind of. Like, I don't want to go after anybody who can defend themselves. Jesus. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, that's career suicide. You're like, oh. Seems like you're catching on there. Just a bit. But what do I know? My phone keeps making bubbly sounds. I think someone's talking in somewhere about something. Hello. Hi. Yeah, um, we're catching up with the Denim's EFAP ones. We're still not quite there, though. Okay. Now yeah. that Rags is here and can answer questions that you've been saving for him, I'll be Yeah, I've collected couple... all the ones that relate to you. Are you ready? I am so ready. All right. Hi, Rags. Hello. Hello, all. Can you give me several Australian no's? I needed to clip it for a meme. So me and Bringy have done it. We need They need, like, a selection of you saying no. Okay. No! 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 Right. No! <laughs> uh, 
Um, hi, Rags. Hello. Hi, Rags. Hi. Yes, hello, Wagsy. Scritches for the good boy. Oh, hello to you. And thank you. Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Hi, Rags. Hello. Do you prefer scritches or pats? Uh, scritches. They're a bit more. They kind of get in there a bit more. Pats are all right, but scritches are way better. The way that you're, you're just the fingers can kind of, you know, it's it kind of, it's more satisfying. A pat's all right, but they're quick and super cash. Scratch um, is more of a commitment. So. I'd... So they, someone wants you to say this. I, I don't know what they're doing with that. Must be something. Let's see. I have a dream that one day the world can look upon a body in underwear and not see a body dressed in sin. Maybe it's like what you run your platform on to become president in some meme. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. That's an interesting... Yeah, who knows what that'll eventually get turned into. I bet it's amazing. Rags, how do I fix burn-in? Help me. Burn-in? Like, uh, on your monitor? I have no idea, maybe. It goes away eventually. Don't panic, it goes away. As long as you don't leave it on whatever image created the, the burn. But it does go away, don't worry. Like, sometimes after a long night, um, I will have, uh, like, if I have a video playing on my monitor, and, like, a YouTube video, right? And after a YouTube video, it has all the little thumbnails in it on a black screen behind it. Sometimes that'll leave a little bit of burn-in on places, but it, it goes away. Yeah, it, it happens, it happens, but it, it goes away. You just don't leave it there, right? You could change it up, and it's no big deal. Um, is loud soup made from Rags' loud ice? Hi, loud rag. Hi, I mean, hi! Um, loud soup made from loud ice? No, you generally don't make soup with ice. Well, loud soup. Hot or cold? Huh? What about, what about hot soup? Or loud soup. Loud soup? No, I don't think loud soup is gonna be... I don't think that's going to really change much about the general no soup rule. Now you can serve soups like gazpacho cold, but um, I still you still don't make those with ice. I don't think they're just served like, after they've been chilled. You know, gazpacho um, would be a lot more of a funny word to people if it weren't so already known. You know, if it would just if that was the first time yeah. you heard it, people would just be like, "That is a fucking wombo word," and I'd be like, "It, it totally is." is. Gazpacho is a solved funny word. Like you have a solved game like checkers or chess, you know, where all the possible moves are known and mathematically understood. That's what gazpacho is. It's just we just we just know it. It's too it, mm -hmm. no. It's too familiar. Um, hi Rags. Hello. Do you prefer Artards got trump cards or Artards rule the yard? Artards got trump. I think I like Artards got trump cards and Artards rule the art. Artards got trump cards. I like that. It's a bit more peppy. It's got kind of a bit of a you know a, 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 a kind of a bob to it. Artards got trump cards. Just a little bit more sharp. I like that. Hi Rags. Hello. What you drinking? Right now, I'm drinking water. It's the water that I took with me on this trip. It's uh, just just ice water right now. Justice water. Justice water. Uh, you guys are a big fan of justice, is it? I'm a big fan of just ice in my water. Yeah. Um, neat animal I found today is the Ozark cavefish. I'm curious if Rags knows about these yet. Ozark a fish, uh, Ozark cave fish. I do not know about these. No, that's kind of an no, interesting little these. guy. Yeah, I do not know about them. Again, one of those sorts of creatures that if I saw it underwater in some sci-fi game, I 
could believe that that's just a made up creature. Yeah, I totally believe it. Uh, hi, Rags. Hello. Please, Rags, call blank face fake and gay. Blank face is fake and gay. Oh, ruined his That's confidence. That's an old one, too. That's kind of an older one. Fake and gay is kind of taking it back. Yeah, yeah. Old school. Uh, hello, Rag. Hello. Also, hi, Rags. Oh, hi. Riches for the good boy. Thank you. My teachers straight up encouraged that wiki method, Rags. When you're talking about the footnotes and where stuff. Where you would go to wiki, yeah, where you just copy what the link was on the footnotes. You wouldn't say wikipedia.com. You'd go to the cited peer-reviewed study or book or source or article. Uh, good boy, Rags. Oh, thank you very much. Rags is from the south. Of course he's racist. Omega lol. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a bit of that racist blood in there. Uh, hey, hi, Rags. Not hate. Hello? I'm onto Rags. You living pair of sunglasses manipulating an innocent talking dog. Scritches for the good boy. Morning long man and green bird fringu. All right. Oh, that's interesting. It's like um, Hector Concarne. You remember yes. him? Yeah, he was a brain and a bear. Um, that was, uh, you know, that I think that's the originally where Billy and Mandy was like a side thing on the Hector Con Carne show, but people didn't care about Hector Con Carne and they really liked Billy and Mandy and the Grim Reaper. So that became its own show, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. That show was cool. Who I liked love... the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. There were some, there were some yeah. funny ones. I, I enjoyed that show. I didn't see too much of them, but I liked, I liked a lot of the ones I saw. Mm -hmm. That was the one with Fred Fredberger. I like rags. Like, how do you like you? Do you um you like no like do like uh like what is oh. it called like um uh like 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 uh like you know? It's like you are doing that meme. But you don't know it, and that's just how one speaks typically. But I think I know what this person could be referring to. Oh, well, we had a whole conversation about using like, I think, right? Because uh, good old denims shoves that word in there like no tomorrow. She's a word shover. Hi, Rags. Hello. Um, I'm sorry. This isn't because of. Oh, well, yeah. By the way, you're caught up now. Congratulations. Oh, nice. I'm sorry, this isn't because of you guys, but this is painful to listen to, and somehow people subject themselves to this daily on Twitch. I wonder if you can guess what they're talking about, Rax. Nope. Just denims. We're at the point now, I think, which oh. the Super Chats have experienced enough denims to really start commenting <laughs> on it. Mm. Twitch is Here a discopia. Discopia? Is that a, I like that. What is it? Is that an actual term, or is that just... Like, cope? Is that, is that what they're going for? Yeah, Discopia. Because there's lots of cope on Twitch. It's a Discopia. But we recently had a super chat talking about how cope is not the word you want to use to mean what people mean when they say cope. Did you? What, what was that super chat? Do you recall? They basically just said the definition of cope. And then you check it out and it's the complete opposite of what people use it for. Um... So, it, tell, uh, yeah, right. the, defi the definition of cope is essentially to deal well with, like, a challenging situation, um, which is. is not what cope <laughs> usually means. Cope is usually negative when coping seems to be a really positive attribute if, you, if you're able to do it. And do like, people uh, say that someone is coping well? Like, they don't know that that's redundant? I think that, I think that is why? almost what it is, right? Well, it's, it's say, like, it, it kind of reset me because I was like, "Oh yeah," because when you say like someone is coping, that's usually to explain like they're doing okay, they're coping. But now it's like or, you're just coping, meaning you're not doing well. Or maybe, maybe enough people said that someone isn't coping well that they assumed that. Hoping needed the well to describe the coping, right? I think it just, so. They assumed it if someone said, 
When someone says yeah, you're, I, you're, so... just, you're just coping, it's it just sounds like it fits, but it doesn't actually. Yeah, and so it just eventually sort of came. He's coping well and coping poorly. Coping is just a handling of the situation that can then further be modified. Super interesting how this shit happens, though. Mm. It's way better than fucking molding. Agreed. All those other Twitch Zoomer words that they use. Also, dyscopia in the field of neurology is used to describe a type of de developmental coordination disorder related to dyslexia and dysgraphia, inability to read or write. I, I think that might be actually referring to just the people on Twitch have dyscopia, which yeah. uh, <laughs> may be. Dyscopia, as in they are unable to cope, dyscopia, like, like a body dysmorphia, they have dyscopia. So they, yeah, yeah, they cannot yeah. Cope. They cannot cope. They have dyscopia. I thought it was like a dystopia. Twitch is like a dystopia. Which it, it which, I don't know if it's a dystopia. It's just a really shitty place. Mm -hmm. Like I don't go to McDonald's and I'm like, oh, this is a dystopia. I might say it as a joke, but yeah, I'm sure someone said it at some point. Jay is the Chris Rock of reaction drama. Hot for Jay. Kinda. Denim's, Denim's just slapped the shit out of me. I mean, they, they, all three of them did. Uh, Jay's just like, well, I'm just gonna carry on with my life while they all go yeah, up in flames. <laughs> Basically. Uh, came in late. Sorry. This is reminding me of this debate I saw Denim's in a while back. She's unbearable. She's only defending Cheng's nephew because of politics. Yeah, and the fact that she does the same thing. It's her bread and butter, too. Yeah, it's the same thing. A lot of them, uh, I think the angle here is that they feel the need to really, um, if, if Hassan can do it and it's legitimate, then they can do it and it's legitimate, you know? Uh, you guys are awesome. You're giving me a new appreciation for good rat, a seething hatred of lazy writing, and a better ability to tell the difference. And Jesus, y'all cracked me up. Thanks for the laughs. Long live EFAP. Aww, oh, thanks nice. very much. I'm glad you're liking it. Yeah, I'm. I'm we'll I'm keep glad. going until we we will keep going until Turn to the dust. world turns into a dyscopia. No. Yeah. What if Eve happens? Then we into will a abandon our podcast, and we will don superhero outfits, and we will fight the Diabetes. dyscopy. The we'll fight things. Mm-hmm. She obviously hasn't watered her jabs. Hi, Rags. Hello, and no, she hasn't watered her jabs. Definitely no, she really hasn't. Haha, ha, I'm a thief, lol. Denim's 2022. Yep. Like, why? Bit. There's no con. But when she said, I can't even do it as well as she does, because I saw the clip, um, someone had timestamped it, where she says, like, if no one's going to appreciate, why, why be generous? Like, um, uh, yeah. the way she it's says like it is so much worse like than that. I can make it sound like she says it in like the worst possible way that just denotes to you that she only does stuff if she's going to get something out of it so fucking amazing um, so yeah the idea that she wouldn't care about stealing is like well yeah of course not because it doesn't affect her badly <laughs> like, so why care about it also hi rags hello birdman oh hi there Hey. An ant has more ability to understand what Jay is saying than this witch. Also, hi, Rags. Oh, hello. I don't think she can cast spells, but I can understand why he chose the word. I hope she can't to be cast fair, spells. Magic would be the best way to explain why someone with that level of intellect can maintain an audience. If bird species... If that can mimic human speech also had human level intelligence, would human society integrate them? How would things be different? So, uh, say the is birds with human-like intelligence? Yeah, I don't know why they chose birds instead of just any... If any animal has our level of any intelligence animal. and speech, then yeah, a I lot don't of know. changes gotta I be made. I think, it, I think it would change the answer, because I think it would be a lot more easy for us to... Like, if one day... All of the 
um da, 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 gorillas in the in the world suddenly started like speaking full languages and whereas intelligence as humans it would be much easier for us to accept them into society than it would be if like um like like maybe mice or something like that did the same I mean, obviously it'll change depending right. on the animal in terms of how we would integrate them or the difficulty of it. I just mean that no matter what animal you choose, things are going to have to change. Be significant, yeah. Because there's no, no fucking animal. way that humanity will put up with, like, treating them like an, a lower class if they have our level of intelligence and language. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And how would they be integrated into society? What roles would they take be difficult. on? <laughs> It'd be hard to say if birds were, yeah. Yeah, because, um, oh god, that's the kind of thing where you're just like, hopefully it never happens, because how the fuck would society, to, to account for, like, birds needing, yeah, because they would obviously right. want Because chicken places... would be, that's, that's it, that's never, that's gone. Exactly, man, like, and so pork, many, and, so many changes. Pork, sorry, and, uh, and, um, turkey, and duck, yeah, that and has like... to change. Them as pets has to end, doesn't it? Well, birds would absolutely. And I wonder if birds would have a different perspective on, like, you know, other animals as pets, too. If they'd be like, no, we, we gotta stop that. Oh, dude, imagine they could communicate with, like, cats and dogs or something. Yeah. Because then we, then, uh-oh. <laughs> and they're like, do you know how your dog feels about you? You'd be like, I don't want to know. <laughs> like, maybe don't tell me, Mr. Crow. I see a lot of those videos popping up in my recommendeds of I, I like to watch those fun animal videos, you know, where look, look at this dog and this parrot. They get along together so well. Or we took in this one cat and boy, is she great. It's just just like happy, fun animal video things. And that happens fairly often where you get families that just have a, a cat and a, a cat or a dog and they also have a bird and they're just used to the bird around all the time, and so they just hang out. Like, you'll have a, a duck and a German shepherd that just kind of grew up together, and so they're just buds, and they hang out everywhere. It That's inspires sort of a lot of cartoons, I imagine. It's duck, duck and, and dog. dog. Yeah. Duck and dog. D duck, and dog. D duck, dog. Da -na 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 duck, dog. Duck, dog. Duck, dog. Uh, was she trying to do a you can't be right but wrong at the top of your voice point with the optics thing? Or you can be right but wrong at the top of your voice? I don't know what that means. You're gonna... I'm trying to think about it. That? Was she trying to do a you can be right but wrong at the top of your voice? That sounds like they're making a commentary on their inflection? Presumably they're saying that... I got nothing. I'm gonna. I. I. I think I. I argued myself out of whatever idea I had there. So I'm. Yeah. I got nothing. Um. Uh, is this a? Well, it was in yeah, regards to whatever she said. I just we don't have the context better. So. Yeah. If someone in chat can help me out with that, I just don't know what they mean. Um. I'm working on a super fans response video in the style of rags. Sorry for promoting, but with these streamers taking away content, I felt the need to. Love you guys for being my current inspiration. Hey, oh, cool. yeah, you bet, man. Go for it. What's uh, what's super fans? Like, is that a a channel or? Uh, is that like the um? Is that a super fans response video? I don't know. Super fans were oh like the Lord of the Rings super fan thing that happened. Uh, what Lord of the Rings super fan thing? Oh, remember they had those little uh the interview style promo material. With, oh, the um, influencers. All the young yeah the influencers they Oof. were called super fans. That's what oh, comes to mind. Maybe if that's they're... what he's making. Oh, okay. Good luck with that. <laughs> that video was painful. That video was pain. If someone breaks into your house every day and steals one thing from you without you noticing, it's your job to find them and tell them not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is quite a thought. 
Good God. I was... Oh, it's funny that you should mention that because there was a commercial um, that I heard because I spent a while in the car today. I went to Louisiana and on this commercial on the radio, they did an old Stephen Wright joke. Uh, Great comedian, great old deadpan comedian. He said, I went into my apartment last night and I discovered that thieves had stolen everything and replace them with an exact replica. And that's what that super chat reminds me of. There's a... I don't remember the name of him. There's a comedian that does loads of jokes like that in a row and delivers it with zero emotion whatsoever, and it's one of the funniest fucking things. It's, I think it... I think... It's, I think it... Uh, I think it is... You might be talking about Stephen Wright. It could be. Let me have a look. Really fluffy, poofy hair, kind of. Oh no, it's not. It's not gonna be that guy. But it. Mitch Hedberg. I think he was British. If that helps narrow it down. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. But um. Richard Lewis. I'm not a YouTuber. Yeah, the esports commentator. Oh, obviously there's more Lewis than one Richard Canadian. Lewis, but... Milton I Jones. I recognize Milton Jones. He's another one that does it, but he's not the guy I'm thinking of. Yeah, Milton Jones does, does crazy hair. Um, Anthony Jesselnik. No, still not him. I mean, I could type in all these names forever, probably. Wolford Brimley? I don't, I don't think it's him. Uh, that sounds like Wolford Brimley. Mm, a little bit, man. Famous deadpan comedian. Uh, this would go on about as far until Twitch streamers got sued for stealing corporate content. It's just until someone makes enough noise uh, who owns the yeah. IP. That's all. Literally, this could end tomorrow if the right people do the right thing at the right time. I oh, I don't I almost don't want to spoil it, but let's just consider it a secret little thing that's happening on the EFAP Mini. Okay, so only us Ooh, will know about it before okay. Saturday. But um, Hassan has a moment in the supercut where he talks about how the only thing we need to do to move past problems is to shut the fuck up about them. Oh yeah, he's, he's done like a tweet about that and everything. Yeah, he's and like, don't snitch, shut the fuck up. He goes on to say. That the only reason this stuff's happening with Jay and, and everyone's talking about it is because they're talking about it. If we all just shut up and move on, no one's going to give a shit days from now. And then That's he says, a man with principles. Oh yeah, definitely. He goes on to say that uh, in relation to sort of what happened, because obviously the, the Jay stuff came way after all of the, the MasterChef stuff was happening. Um, and I, Do you guys know he got, got uh, hit with a DMCA for that, but it was fake? No, Who, Hassan got hit with a fake DMCA for watching MasterChef? <clears throat> yeah, like basically hmm. someone filed it who was like a user and didn't have any claim to it at all. And it got like meted out and sorted. And he talks about how he's fucking outraged that the community surrounding it, all they had to say to him when he got, he defeated that incorrect DMCA was the next one will be real. You better be careful. He was like, what the fuck is wrong with all of you? We just won. It's like... Uh, one? No. His fucking you brain, man. It's anything. broken. I, it really is broken. How are you... Like, how do you dress yourself in the morning? Like the whole idea when someone says the next one will be real is like, what you're doing is wrong and you're gonna fuck everything up for everyone. Yeah, this, this is a taste of what it will be like, except this one will actually be real. Yeah, Their and, methods um, are... And his conclusion is, just don't talk about it. Don't talk about me stealing stuff, and no one's gonna stop me. And it's like, I guess Man you're right people. to some degree, <laughs> but, like, that's not really, like, that doesn't tempt me to stop talking about it. God, it's like watching, I don't know, someone get robbed, like a neighbor, and the robber, like, looks at you and goes, don't, don't tell him. Shh. He's like, um... Uh, she could lose a game of tic-tac-toe to a dead fish. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, Mola, how did you make this compilation? Did you actually manage to sit through a stream and not die of brain rot? Fringy, how many times when I was constructing that thing did I just have to tell you what I was listening to to survive? Oh, yeah, there was tons of that. I was just like, this fucking... It, 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 it hit. And it is nice to know that it's over. Uh, I was so happy when I made the final version of the Hassan Supercut. I was like, I don't have to do this again. I'm done now. I don't have to free. listen to more Hassan. <laughs> Obviously, if he fucking mentions us again, I'm going to have to do it again, I guess. But let's just hope. Let's hope. Let's hope let's he takes cope. his own advice and shuts the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, Procratitara just released a Lost Jedi video. Um, her EFAP invite should be in the mail years ago. Would love to see that crossover. I feel like I recognize the name. What? What's the name? They said uh, Procratitara. Is it Procrastitara? One of those two, I guess. Procrastit. It is Procrastitara. Procrastitara. Three days ago, proving the Last Jedi is a terrible movie without using Star Wars lore. Part I already one. did that. <laughs> It's, it's bad on its own, okay? It doesn't need to be bad relation to all the other Star Wars movies or fucking, like, EU stuff, but it's bad on all accounts. The description is skip to 10.25 to avoid JoJo P3 spoilers. Oh, there you go. Interesting. But, um, yeah, no. Uh, maybe we'll get her on sometime. I have no idea yeah. who that is, really. I've definitely heard the name before, though. Is she an elf? Is that what her... Is that the aesthetic? The avatar? She did Batwoman videos too? <laughs> oh my goodness. There have been a lot of times watching EFAP that I've thought this is the dumbest person alive. And this time I was right. <laughs> and this time I was right. <laughs> oh, we'll try and outclass Denims at some point. Maybe even Maybe, Saturday. Oh. I agree, it is ableist to criticize Hassan. Uh, hey <laughs> you, you gotta leave him alone. Moral grandstanding ableism while stealing content and laughing about it. Talk all day about being a good person, but when it comes to action... Absolutely, man. That's what a lot of these people get yeah. torn down by. It's just like, just look at what they're doing. Don't listen to what they're saying. But sometimes you can just listen to what they're saying and fucking... Yeah, yeah sometimes, enough. yeah. Uh, cool is the one slang word meaning popular, likable, and good that has maintained consistent popularity since like the 40s. Cool is always cool. I saw cool some people is... being confused by that. They were like, your parents didn't know what that meant? And I was like, no, they just didn't. They just they weren't familiar with this usage, even though cool is an old ass word, or at least how it's used today started a long time ago. Your parents are very uncool. Yeah, they were super nerdy, I guess. They didn't, they've, no one's ever referred to them as cool, so they therefore have no idea what it is. Um, want to say, nice job on wading through the idiocy to cut this together. Makes this journey even better. As someone who occasionally watches games on Twitch, seeing this side of it is crazy. Yeah. Dude, it was crazy for me. Um, it wasn't that long ago that I didn't realize this was fucking happening. Yeah. When I found out about, like, the Hell's Kitchen stuff, I was like, well, that's an... That's like an actual TV show. You can't do that. And then I watch it happen. I go, are you fucking kidding me? That's insane. Imagine us trying to just stream a TV show entirely. And then all That's of us insane. go to like the toilet or some shit. It's like, what the fuck? And, and you just get to come back and carry on as if nothing happened. And your day just, just rolls right along with no issues. These people don't understand what it's like. They're spoiled, and they don't know how spoiled they are. Work harder. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Stitch, make a video. I think he is, right? Because he didn't want to lose a bet. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Apparently, someone's going to give Adam, like, $500 if Stitch doesn't make a video this month. I think that's what he said. Oh, boy. Hello, EFAP crew. I've noted Rags quoting a certain Metal Gear parody video by a guy named Maxor, and was wondering how many of you were fans. I oh, is that the is that the Armstrong uh, the I made it the fuck up. I, I haven't seen the video. I just know of, I've I've seen that meme. 
I don't think a lot of people have at this point. I guess a lot of people know about it. <laughs> Great quote. It is. Do you have a source for that, Senator? The source is I made it the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so confidently said. It's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't seen them, I recommend his Bloodborne video. It's very funny. All right. I used the wrong version of the word scene there. That's okay. It was understood. Are there any characters you like for the story potential? I.e., I like Nightwing for his overarching ideals and morals, not a specific iteration. Um... I don't know, I feel like that's more common than not, actually. Like, I really like Batman as a concept. It's not necessary that I... It's a particular iteration that I flock to. Similar for Spider-Man. Um, uh, I think of the others. Like, Daredevil. Not that I immediately think of, um, like, Charlie Cox's or uh, a particular animated or comic. It's just like, yeah, I think of Daredevil as a, an idea in general. I think there's lots mm -hmm. of story potential for... This is the thing, we at EFAP tend to think there's a hell of a lot of story potential for basically everything. Yeah. Yeah. Even if there's a guy, his name is Bob, and he works at... It's... Remember, we, we were pitching, like, alternate ideas for a low-scale and low-stakes Rise of Skywalker. It was, like, just a guy who lives on Coruscant doing his daily shit. And then the consequences of all of the warring of the first two movies is on the news and maybe in the background, but it's not the point of the film. Like, the fact that that is so unusual is already just way more interesting to me. Um, and there wasn't any necessary potential for that character at all. He was just a guy. You know? mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I often think of those characters, I don't know about you guys, uh, as their potential as... as ideas from the get-go rather than their iteration. Yeah. There's, we often find what could be interesting about characters if they were written by more competent writers. Happens all the time on EFAP. All the time. Right, that is so vain of you. We, how could you think yourself to be better than the people who wrote Loki? Oh, I, I don't know. Some For whatever reason, I just think I'm better. If you don't think you're better, that's just self-hate, and that's not healthy. What a thieving C-word. Also, the YouTube censorship is getting insane. Oh. Does it just, like, tell you... How does it work with Super Chats if you type in, like, the worst stuff? Does it send it through and then star it out, or does it just say it can't be sent? I think it says you can't send it. Yeah. I suppose that's better, so you can at least have a chance to change it. Um, I did find out that in the, the Battlefield 5 chat, which is the most oppressive and censorious chat I've ever seen in a video game, you cannot say InfoWars. <laughs> it's very specific. Have you, do you really think it's the most censorious chat? Have you seen the, uh, the Amazon workers one? Oh, I have heard some stuff going <laughs> oh, around. Fucking uh, freedom yeah. is That's censored. <laughs> Fairness and censored. Fairness and freedom are censored. <laughs> Jesus Christ, at what point are you just... Uh... <laughs> there isn't oh, a, a we the app. baddies, uh. this is a we are the baddies, yes. We are the baddies, you want, yes. You are, maybe. Uh, you can do it, Twitch Thoughts. You can soar above the bare minimum. That's the funny thing. You can soar above the bare minimum. If Denim, like Aurelifan, and Hassan put more effort in... They would likely be better off. Just saying. But that would be work. I understand Andrew Ryan's pain, fucking parasites. <laughs> Andrew Ryan they was right. He, he went to Rapture to avoid Twitch thoughts. So I said about the Amazon thing, the fire is censored. So what if you? What happens if there's a fire and you're trying to tell people out the fire and you can't actually say it? Big and bright, right, hurty. Uh, someone, <laughs> someone says, "Look out! It's the dangerous orange." <laughs> and they're like, "Trump! Oh God, he's coming!" <laughs> oh no. Look, I'm retarded. I can see and understand what Jay's point is. This witch keeps jumping and running from the point of Jay's video and saying your point is X. I'm a, 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 
I think everyone understood Jay's point. I think even they understood Jay's point. They just try to find points to respond to. Because you can't do anything with Jay's point other than agree. Uh, hello there, Mola. Good day, Fringy. S Class Sitch, and also Hi Rags. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Denims, my dog died, and I have to work 14 hours the same day. Imagine that. And my job has serious consequences if done poorly. Not watching videos. This is what I mean, man. Uh, um, when you get to real world work. shit and really difficult real world shit, this becomes like, like, like. This has to be a Monty Python sketch, right? Like, this can't be real. Can you believe that some people have to work, like, uh, maybe eight hours a day? Can you imagine working eight hours a day, though? So there was a comment I really liked on uh, the re-upload, where someone said, can you imagine working eight hours a day? It's like, oh, I don't have to imagine it. I've worked part-time. <laughs> uh, that is true. Eight hours so... a day for only, yeah, three days a week is part-time. It's not even full-time. If so sympathetic you are, why leave, Yoda? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just saying, man, it would have been fascinating if Jay had more receipts. Uh, Jay actually mentioned to me that part of what prevented, like, any kind of sort of address of a lot of points was that Jay only got through half of her stream. And what she said, uh, this wasn't in the supercut, was that it was by the time she hit the end, uh, her mind had been changed and stuff. And you, you caught a bit of it when she said that at the end she felt like a lot of introspection was needed and that she's going to change the way she approaches it. And then I cut to her at the end where she says, like, I'm making a video on this. <laughs> and so Jay was saying, like, had I seen all of that, yeah, I would have been like, what are you talking about? Which is so unfortunate because I think Jay was halfway through it before running out of time. So had there been more time, uh, maybe we would have seen a bit more fireworks because Jay would be like, weird, that's not what you said at all. I still think that kind of takes the cake for, like, EFAP's worst liar. I don't think we've ever had it that bad before. That is pretty bad, yeah. Just brazen. To the point where you wonder if she's aware or not, because she has to be, right? Like, uh, how could someone not be aware well, of that? You could, you could not be, you know? It's, maybe it is just, I don't know. Maybe she thinks she's just constantly changing their mind, or... I don't know. Uh, glad to catch another EFAB live. Hi, Rags. Hi! Also, you'll hear from my lawyer, Nick Rikita, soon, because I'm gonna sue you for brain damage from these videos. Hey, look, you... you didn't hit pause. You didn't cross off. You are responsible. Okay, not me. Also, you know, Fringy and Rags are still alive. I, as far as I know, Dev and Sitch are. <laughs> as far as I know. What? Why watch it again? I've seen episode 93 of EFAP multiple times and enjoy it every time. Um, yeah, the, I think we talked about this before, but apparently EFAP 93 is like the most rewatchable one. Um, I saw someone say it's rewatchable because of the fact that it doubles as a huge long praise of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Which makes sense. Um, yeah. We yeah. end up going through like all the characters and the plot lines and the big payoffs and stuff, so... I know, can you believe the fact that, like, it won't be long before we're 100 episodes away from E593? 193, yeah. here we come. We'll see we will be like, in. 193, that better be about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> um, I suppose so. We are the New Zealand folk. Say hello, Bill Butt Gunton. Hello, New Zealand folk. Hello, Mr. Folks. Gunton. Folk, folk. Hey panel, would you rather be stuck in a room with Chris Traeger from Parks and Recreation or Cinema Winds? I don't know the Parks and Rec character, so couldn't couldn't really say. I'd be fine with being stuck with Cinema Sins because I would finally be able to get him to answer some harder questions about film analysis and stuff. And I'm pretty sure he's like a normal, nice person, so you know, I wouldn't yeah. hurt him. I would just be like, so you know when you praise something like Black Widow? <laughs> You'd be like, yeah. Does it hurt your soul? Uh, YouTube won't accept spoons as payment, so here's some dollars. Hi, oh, thanks. I love dollars. I have spoons aplenty. Mm -hmm. I do not need more spoons, but I could use more dollars. 
Uh, somehow the layers of making a video reacting to a stream reacting to a video reacting to a stream reacting to a video makes this funnier. It is kind of funny. Okay, so now we're entering into the phase that we all got to at some point. Some of the chatters are feeling a little bit stressed out. Um, so I'll just, yeah, I'll just read this out. Um, God, make it stop. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Why did you do this? Make it stop. I can't take this anymore. Can't we please just go back to Jared, please? Oh, Saturday. They're going to be in for a, a chocorino. <laughs> the thing, this arc is not over. <laughs> I saw someone in the Discord be like, I'm skipping these three episodes because I just don't care about Twitch. So I'm like, I don't think you need to care about Twitch. <laughs> like, care to be... Twitch interested slash bewildered by what's been happening on these ones. Slash depressed. <laughs> At the end of the day, the ethics of bad react streams matter less to me than it just being insufferable and boring to sit through. I mean, I care about it. It kind of just reflects on what we do as well. That's kind of the thing about this that's so interesting, is that they're doing what we do. I know I was uh it was like last night I was trying to um I I was watching through some of Destiny reactions and there were like four of them in a row where I was like say something yeah you bastard <laughs> say something Just, and I'd be like oh I can't do it he's uh he's not good at reacting <laughs> Well he, his problem is similar with a lot of them I was trying to say this with uh Fringy earlier like they probably have had reactions that are like on point with, if not, you know, like, better than ours even, maybe. Like, it just, it has maybe. to be something they care about dramatically, and have lots of things to say on. Um, but they just, they don't care if there are reactions where they don't say fuck all. They just don't care. So, it's all the same. Yeah. And yeah, Destiny does it too. He'll have reactions where he just doesn't fucking add anything at all. Um, the weird thing for that, I guess, is a lot of the time he's reacting to, like, Twitch panels, and they all seem to do it to each other, so they presume, I guess, that they all have permission to do that. Like, none of them I, mind. I, I don't know if there's an assumed position, uh, permission between them as a community. You know, like, if, um, if the three of us were doing Twitch streams semi-regularly, and then we played each other's videos whenever they came out, and people were like... You're not reacting at all. It would, it would probably like be safe to assume. Like crossover sort of thing. Yeah, it would, it would be safe. Well, to be fair, if you guys were streaming on Twitch, I put out a new TFA part and you said, can I play it when I, um, I don't know, go to the toilet or, 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 or go have food, I'd probably be fine with that. Um, but the thing is, that's kind of a, a big crux of what everyone's been talking about is the permission aspect. There are a lot of YouTubers who'd yeah. be fine with it. But you never care to find out. Because you can't be asked, because you're lazy. Because you're lazy. Um, how can reactors be this stupid and immoral? Jay put such effort into both videos and was funny. No wonder he has more subscribers than any EFAP host. Whoa. Oh my goodness gracious. Hey, Jay's, uh, Jay's pretty good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't deny it. He is uh, funny. He is Though, very funny and he works does hard. Does Jay have a successful, cool, and hip podcast that's on once per week without fail? Huh? No, he doesn't. Don't think so. Nope. Well, that's one up for us. Yeah, Jay. Why don't you stick that in the pipe and smoke it to the bank? Yeah. Thanks, Mullet. Now you've shown me my 13th reason why. Oh, no. No, 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 no. So, uh, we're funnier than her. Also, is she unaware that YouTube has a chat? I, I have to assume so. Cause she but she says, has a YouTube channel. I know, it's fucking crazy. She says, the Twitch chat, you can't really compare. God, it's such a, like, chasm of stupid. Because, first <laughs> she says, we have stupid. Twitch chat, right? That makes it different. And then her, her head goes, oh no, Denims. What about YouTube comments? So then she says, no one, YouTube comments is shit. No one, no one cares about that. No, she says, that. who said that? <laughs> Where are you? Where's this errant <laughs> thought erupting from? I Where? must kill it. Where are you? Um, Show yourself. Get out of my house. And, and so she accounts for that by saying, YouTube, YouTube comments, nobody reads them, they're shit. Therefore, Twitch chat better. It's like, that was the argument that she came up with. But like, she doesn't seem to realize, it's like, what about the fucking chat? It's like one to one. 
a bunch of people talking about the thing. Oh no, Twitch chat is better because there's more of a meme culture. There's more an emote culture. I was talking to Fring about this. I fucking like an emote culture. I wonder if um if banning emotes outright so that only words could show up and making it so that there was like a two sentence limit. Like it has to be at least two sentences, but then it caps Ooh. out like a paragraph. I wonder what kind of quality chat you end up with with that at that point. That would be interesting. Because Twitch is filled with people spamming like one emote, and that's all they Lol. ever do. And so like, LOL. the chat at that point, you can tell what people are feeling, or at least how they want to project that they're feeling, but like, you know, how many times have we read interesting facts or additions or corrections from EFAP chat, you know? Because we're lucky in that our chat goes at what I think is like an optimal speed. It it It's changing pretty much all the time, but at the same time you get to read whatever interesting thing you may have spotted when it comes up. Um, to be fair, I can't believe... This, this is so bizarre, just in meta, but Hassan is like the only person I've seen properly managing a YouTube, a Twitter chat in terms of... Uh, sorry, a Twitch chat in terms of grabbing things out of it. And the irony there is that I think he does actually mine them for interesting things. Which is um, something you can do if you just scroll up and start cycling down. Because um, you guys have seen it in all the clips, you'll see it on Saturday. But he like has 10 year fucking gaps between three words at a time. And he's just sort of wandering in his own brain and then looking at chat and stuff. I know that... Um, Stitch and Adam have had this when watching him, where like they make they check out his YouTube videos and the editor cuts out all the the pauses, and so you get like three words, two words, one word, three words, three two one one, three three one one, three one three, and his clear cuts yeah. constantly because he takes gaps all the time. Some of them are really long, and. I had the same problem with that supercut that I did with Denims where I, I was cutting loads and I started being like, I should leave some of these in just so you guys can see what has to be left in and why I don't like to leave it in. Because I don't like to have a sentence cut in half with a static because it makes it look as though I may have cut something out. But uh, he does a shit ton of pregnant pauses, yeah. <clears throat> no. We are real, we are real, we are high rags, we are real. Hello! What does it mean to exist? Anyway, hi, Rags. Hello! Uh, to have properties. Does Harry Potter have properties? Uh, I think he rents. So does he exist? Yeah. He is a... Um... There's a special name for it, like he's assuming that like the a question where like if someone says is ha is Harry Potter a, a wizard, you know, it's like one of those you assume that the the subject that you're talking about is real for the sake of the question. Um, I forget what they're called, but I don't know. Harry Potter, what a film. Harold Pottinger. Are we going to do a Harry Potter arc one time? Is that going to be a thing we do? I think it's been floated, but don't know when. Uh, we got a lot of don't know whens that'll become yeah. clearer yeah, as time progresses. Uh, when I hear all of Denim's takes, I just want to say to her, oh, sweetie, bless your heart, in a way that maybe only rags will get. Yes, it's an insult. I don't think that anyone had trouble me. getting that. <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah, that is that. Get Academic Agent on EFAP? Unfamiliar. I've heard the name before. I've heard the name before, too. This is it. This is the person I hate most of all, the insane individuals EFAP has covered over the last four years. Whoa. I, I mean, Denims would definitely be a competitor, right? Like, for the, the worst content creator. Definitely. Definitely up there, and that is, you are. Oh man, if she knew the company that she that she <laughs> shared. But like honestly um, though, is she worse than Movie Bob? Probably not, right? He he advocates for fucking genocides. I guess in terms of sheer evil, Movie Bob does kind of take the cake. 
Like, remember, he wants to just wipe out conservatives and Republicans. He just wants them all gone. Yeah, that's pretty evil. So, yeah, I mean, you, you, we try and remember, right? But I can understand, because she... That was... She probably won, like, most painful the award. I think... Maybe. Maybe. I think most, most relatable evil, in a sense... Like, you can't, it, it's almost, you hear someone tweeting about how they want Republicans to just die, and you're like, oh, that's like kind of, that goes into crazy territory, do they really mean it territory? And then you see Denim's just lying to someone's face, because it would look and then bad going she, back on it yeah. later. And that's almost like, I could, I was like, oh, that's that's just you being a snake. That's you lying about something to get out of an uncomfortable situation that you light your way into. So that's like, I can under, I, that's relatable. I can understand that very easily. And as someone has pointed out, uh, Diabuto did lead the armies against uh, EFAP in 100 meme, you know, pretty evil. That is pretty evil. Uh, people like this are why the Salem witch trials happened. Has Fringy come to terms with being a bird yet? Hi, Rags. Hello. Has not come to terms with. Yeah, he's already. Fringy's working on board. it. Yeah. I feel like I've strengthened myself spiritually the past 20 something years with my connection to God, and Mauler's undone it all in a single night. <laughs> well, Denims can have an effect. <laughs> um. And that is it for the Denim's EFAB stream. We are caught up. Wow! Oh, whoa, That's yeah. incredible. Wow, oh my goodness. And we just hit exactly four hours, which uh, works very much for me because I have to go to sleep soon in order to make an appointment tomorrow. But I also need to eat food, so I'm, I'm low on time in general. Um, I'm kind of in the right. same boat. I'm probably going to rest as well because I had to get up early and do all I'm that stuff. I'm very tired, personally. I slept badly. <laughs> What I'll do then is collect all the ones from this and... Okay, wait, wait, wait. How do you differentiate between... Like Fringy said, I slept badly. Does that mean that I the way that he maybe. sleeps was like he's really I just, he's really I'll just shitty clarify, at sleeping? I'll clarify. I didn't get much sleep. I kept waking up. There you go. We did it. Yep. So... Um, depending on how the Psalm one goes, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do Super Chats on the same day as the coverage, because his video is an hour and 40 minutes, or an hour and 30, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, it's a lot of content. Though, there's a lot of stuff in there that's just context. Like, they're not, uh, strictly... It's, I think there's more context clips in it than there are things to absorb and react to. Point being, um, we'll catch this stream's ones next Wednesday. Possibly with Hassan's. If not, they'll be, uh, well, just catching up on general ones. Um, of course, thank you all so much for keeping us company and for donating. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, you'll see us next time. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not. Saturday, right? There's no open bar or like Friday Night Tights that any of us three are going on. So, yeah, the next time you'll see us all, it's going to be Saturday. With That's a, exciting. I can't wait. That'll whole, be really fun, guys. Whole cast of characters. And we're gonna be checking out the king himself, Mr. Hassan Piker. And his reaction Emperor. to Jay making that video, which is absolutely pitiful. And we can finally figure out... I'm probably at the end of it gonna be like, so what did we learn from this trilogy of fucking disasters? And I don't know what our answer will be. Anyone can be a Twitch streamer. That's gonna be the main <laughs> takeaway, yeah. Um... Yeah. Until then, good night, everyone. We shall yeah. see you bye, bye, on bye, Saturday. Bye, bye. Absolutely. We will see, see you, you guys later. later. It'll be fun. Bye. 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 bye, 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 bye.